artists we were just talking about, God is good. God can't is, take, God can't is take any credit good. for cannot take credit for none of that. Um, which is which is so you were just saying how basically we all get to a point where when, hopefully we all get to a point where when you, yeah if you do get to a point where you like lock in with like what God wants you to do and just kind of like I had to like surrender a lot of what I wanted to do because there were enough times where it just does, wasn't working out and I was just like yep. just let me do your will and let me do what you want me to do and then like everything gets taken care of honestly and um, the what I was saying is crazy about that is we're going to do that regardless because as we've been seeing around the earth people have been conform you're going to conform to something you're either going to conform to god's will or the devil's will something else yeah. because i mean think think of of how much stuff people have had to give up or has been taken away or just has they've had to change their mindset on things whether they liked it or not like yeah like this, you like, have to sacrifice something like and choices it's either are gonna be made yeah like you have to make choices over the course of your life and like it seems like especially like nowadays there's just like choices that have to be made we're being pushed in like one direction or another there's, there's no know? gray area it's like it's you, really weird you can't because stay on like, the fence on anything you have to yeah, have a side yeah it's so weird because like as much as you want to stay in the middle and just be like look i see I'm trying to just see everything, you know, mm -hmm. which is still like where I try and stay for everything. Like yeah. see every side and just like, you know, like be the middleman kind Definitely. of and like the peacemaker mediator type thing, just because like, I, th I feel like that's the best place to be. Everything is pushing you in one direction or another. Uh, well, cause like hard. It, I mean, being in that, being in that middle ground, cause like you were saying, like when, when you're in the middle, you get to stand back and just, Asking questions about certain topics is like viewed as wrong now. Yeah. Like now it's as soon as something happens, you need an immediate reaction to it. Uh, five seconds after this happened, how do you feel about this? Yeah. And it better be I, aligned with your team or else like, I don't know. how. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, and then if I change my mind a month later, it just means I've grown. Like th th that's another thing. We don't, we don't give, we don't give people grace or time for anything. It's just, you need to make a, you need to make a decision right now. If you yep. don't make that decision right now, and if it's a wrong decision, you're going to be, you're going to have to pay for that decision forever. And it's, it's such a weird way to do things. There's no long-term mindset or mentality about anything. It's like, like you said, when something happens, the knee jerk reaction is the, is the most valuable thing that we have now. Yeah. Is. but that's not going to work well for anything like you have to have time to see the nuance in things and yeah. and that should be valued but for whatever reason it's it's not right now hopefully that can change Definitely. i think that that can change because like it's we're operating passion for people it's, it's yeah like people forget that they're human like people yeah. really they'll they'll like I, I was, I was talking with one of my homies out here, mm -hmm. and it's like we, the whole I'm an individual. It, it's me. I'm, I'm special. Like while yes, we all are special. I, I put it like this: say someone breaks their femur, which is like supposed to be like one of like the most painful yeah. things you can go through, and then like a little kid um, getting a paper cut. You've both felt pain to different degrees, but you both, if, if I was to tell you what is pain, you guys would both, you guys both know where it's from. Yeah. And, but we don't let people do that. It's, oh, well, you didn't break your femur, so you don't know what pain is. Well, I don't know what it is to your extent, but I know what pain is. And so we don't, we don't give people a chance to heal. So it's, oh, if you didn't go We don't this, allow anything to be relative. Everything has to be absolute. It, it, everything has to be absolute. Oh, you, you didn't, you, you don't know what I went through. I, and I, I don't. But at the same time, it's like... I went through something similar. Yeah. And, and that's where the middle ground is. And that's where we're all supposed to like be coming together and doing that. Yeah. But, you know, I, I also think it too, it's because we're operating off of a... Everything's media now. If you think about it, like we talk... like There's a lot of times we talk about like, oh, the media, the media. And it's like, yeah, that's true. And when people are talking about the media, like we're talking about legacy media, you know, mm -hmm. like the old news networks and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, we're media too. Everyone is media now, which is super weird. Mm -hmm. But we're still operating off that old model where it's like we have to get on the story first and it's like no not anymore we yeah. have so much information and like we can all communicate about anything that we want 
so like why it has to be like the, the latest news every single day and that's it. And we can never like go back and talk about something that happened like five years ago with new eyes. That makes no sense with the tools that we have now. You know what I mean? It, it really is we- weird. The fact that we don't ever go back. Like we, we, we don't ever do uh, like a self-evaluation about yeah. things. It's, it's just move it forward, move it forward, move it forward. Well, okay we, we made this we, like we made some big decision okay before we make another big decision let's go back and see how let's see how this decision has affected the past however many years or whatever yeah. but we don't do that it's just no move it forward move it forward move it forward and then we get to this point where we're like wait how do we get here and it's like yeah well there were signs but we were just we're like people were just trying to push forward yeah that's what's so weird and it seems like we're pushing forward to like like you brought up the metaverse right before we started this podcast yep. like we're pushing forward so hard towards like certain it seems like we're going in a certain direction yeah and we can't get there fast enough and we're just trying to like barrel forward towards it and i'm not sure why it's such a ferocious like the speed that we're going at and we're not taking time to think about like is this the direction that we should be going like what are we going to do when we get there when we are to the point where like we have this like metaverse or a bunch of metaverses that people can plug into and like you know what do you i mean i feel like people especially Especially in the past 10 years, I mean, you, you got Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos, heavy into the space exploration. People want to get off of Earth, in whether it be literally or in a metaphysical world where it's like you're, yeah. you're removing. I mean, have you ever been in a, a VR? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, 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 it really is a whole different world. I mean, yeah. It's you, amazing. It's amazing. I remember the first time I tried one on was just like six months ago. Mm-hmm. And I played I played a couple different games. I played that one game where oh, I forget what it's called. It's like hot. Super hot. Like super hot. Yeah. yeah, super hot. It's so fun. Yeah. Cause it's like it's just like you said, it's such a different world, such different rules than we play with. Like you're just in a whole different like thing you, you know? can literally build whatever you want i mean yeah there's there's whole rooms where you want a hundred foot tv you want to watch netflix on a hundred foot tv easy yeah they, they got that like i literally see it coming to a point where people have a chair in their house maybe a bed and that's it yeah what's the point of having it you don't need a tv when you when you have this you don't need plants you don't need front like you don't need you can have a whole world and you can i mean I, so like i got a my brother sent me a headset maybe five six months ago yeah. so i've, I've kind of like been playing around with it and yeah i go in a vr chat which is like a public chat room yeah a lot of kids there because a lot of kids but like when you yeah, actually yeah, sure. when you actually start having like real conversation with people it's weird because right now the people who live in live in the metaverse yeah. are the quote-unquote rejects of society like just the people yeah, who yeah the people who they're not making it happen they're not satisfied with what's going on in yeah. their real life so they're using this as an escape but it's like but the like to, to me the metaverse is like this weird like I, I don't even know how to feel about it because it's here and it's yeah. and it's not gonna go yeah. away. We we've already been kind of like toying with it for a while okay. with like Instagram, the regular social media. We've kind of like we've been, uh this comedian named Tim Dillon made a good point where he's like we've already kind of been living with it, but it's about to go oh, to yeah. the point where you're talking about where people are, just have just enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. To just just enough to like survive and keep them alive. And that's going to get weird because I feel like that brings up all sorts of issues because it's like, well, what's going to happen to this world? And then it's like, is this the base reality, you know, or has this happened before and we jumped in here and that's where we are now. And, and that's and it, like all sorts of weird things, you know, when you, when you, especially, if, especially I, when you open it up to that, to that yeah. point, it, it really just makes you think of just all like, 
I, I mean, with the Matrix just releasing, it's kind of it, it yeah, kind, it's, it's kind weird. Of, All of these things just are starting to like come together and really like push us, to, you know, towards this. And then I wonder too, like, is it us or is it like the algorithms that we've set up and the AI that we've set up that are kind of like, well, I mean, pushing I, us forward towards it. I personally you know, think so. that. AI is like that is the antichrist like yeah I think yeah that's that's an interesting that you say that I was about yeah, to bring it there too definitely. there's this guy uh I talked about it in the last podcast that I did mm-hmm. with my brother and my dad yeah there's this guy that works for this company called D-Wave okay and they're essentially like this artificial I'll bring it up they're essentially this artificial intelligence I've company. heard of the name but yeah. like that's that's about as much as I know it's okay. like at, at a name somewhat recognition so they work with D-Wave artificial intelligence they work with google Mm -hmm. and they also work with hold on let me bring this up for google yeah i mean definitely why do you why do you think it's the antichrist because it would it would make sense that our first true creation i mean like like we like really think about it yeah there, I mean, even even AI isn't going to be our, our own creation because obviously everything that's made, God knew it was going to be made. But like, yeah, in our minds, we're playing God kind of right. Like it's, we want to. Yeah. The, like that's what this is. Like we're we're like, oh, we'll create our own universe. It's like, I, I mean, we, we went from cloning sheep to trying to clone people to now. Now we're now we're, we have designer babies where like people are doing like gene splitting to like like oh do you want your kid to be yeah, like six cr- feet tall and crisper, have a, right yeah, yeah exactly and so we're we're trying to play god and it, it for for anybody who's a dog owner you realize well, as much as you love your dog you make a terrible god and, and and it really is weird it's like as much as as much as you love your dog you pl- you're like because that in, in that sense you are god because you're you're a so much more of an elevated being than this thing, but you, but you've taken it in. You, you've said, I, I like my dog didn't choose to, I, I went out, got him. Like he is a hundred percent my responsibility. So everything yeah. that he does good or bad is, is my fault. Like, Oh, well, some dogs are, like, no, especially since I had him as a puppy, it's training. It's, it's this, it's that. And that's where I see with AI when, when we, when robots come around, we're not going to be nice. When, whenever, whenever I talk to A-L-E-X-A and it, uh, it it'll give me a response and it'll be like, do you also, I'm like, shut up. I'm like, I like, how you, so we, I like how you spelled it out so that she wouldn't respond. It, yeah. Cause, cause I, cause, hey, I'm, hey, for, for everybody watching, you, you'll appreciate it. Yeah, so yeah. When, when, when it be going off, it's like, it, it really is weird, but especially, especially with COVID we've seen, I feel like with the whole, the grocery stores being empty, or whatever, like that, that's, that's a very low level of how ugly humanity can get to. Yeah. That's just a brief taste of, I mean, for thousands and thousands of years, we were like warring with each other, like hardcore. We're in the most peaceful time and like shit's going down in a lot of different places in the world and it's really ugly. Mm-hmm. But we're at a level of peace right now that like, you know, it's hard to say that cause there's a lot of stuff that there's a lot of bad thing, it, things that's going on. But at the same time, it's, it's not like we're walking around with like sticks and stones still like, like warring with, we're not like go, undergoing tribal warfare, which is what we've the, done for thousands the, of years. It's the polar you know? opposite. We've never been in a more successful time. Like there, I, I heard where the entire population lives on a, on, on a, basically there is no abject poverty in the entire world. Everybody makes enough. Every single last person I'm talking about the little kids that everybody thinks of in Africa to Saudi princes, everybody makes enough money to where they are not in quote unquote abject poverty, which I don't know what the breakdown of that is, but I think it's enough to like feed yourself each day. Yeah. So 
when you really think about that, that's a great accomplishment. We, we were life expectancy is higher than it's ever been. We have all these modern marvels, but then also we have like slaveries at all time high. Like it, not in the United States, but in the rest of the world, there yeah, has never been. Tra- there's like, never yeah. been. It's more funny slavery. that we call it human trafficking too. We like to like gloss over things like oh. that. I was having a conversation with somebody about that mm-hmm. and they were like slavery is not or human trafficking is not slavery and it's like it's like you know it's so funny that we call it human trafficking now because that's that's what it is yeah it's selling human beings like it's that's what that's what it is you yeah know what I mean? but it, it, oh we I, I don't like that word it, it hurts my feelings yeah man and, but it's like it's like but that's what it is and it's not about hurting your feelings it's just about calling reality reality you know and reality is ugly sometimes most of the time but, <laughs> but, but to make it better you have to like it's like to the you have first, to deal with reality at face value you can't you can't be like well we'll just change the words to feel better about reality and that will make reality better it's like no you gotta no. you gotta look at harsh reality what it is and then you can start to change it once you exactly. take it for what it is you know it it's is. like that with like ourselves too you know what oh, I mean? most like definitely. i didn't start to change until i start i was always trying to like be the pretend version of a better me and it was only, you know what I mean? and it was and it was only till i was like you know what i'm just gonna be myself and it's not gonna be good but i'm just i'm gonna have to be myself and then i'll start to learn you know yeah. but until you're you know it's 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 like on the micro scale individually and then on the macro scale like in society like we have yeah. to do that we have to like look at what we're actually doing but it it's always tough to really look at yourself because like you were saying there's so many people who in their minds like we we had a conversation about this years ago where it's yeah. like I know you as, as Tyler LaSalle. Yeah. But who I know you as is not you. The same way that who, like, the Marcus Sharp that you, is, is not me. Yeah. Like, we a lot put of us the, in a room by ourselves. That's who we are. Our, the thoughts yeah. that we have, that's and, who And over are. time, like, over the course of our entire lives, exactly. every experience that I've had that, like, you don't know about and every experience that you've had that I have no clue about, you yep. know what I mean? And, like, the entirety, that's where it goes to, like, like, you know, people say, like, only God can judge. And it's, like, and yeah. that's where that relationship with God too is so nice because it's like yeah. God's been with you every yeah. second. And you know still what I mean? You. Yeah, exactly. Like that, it, it really it's is a beautiful, beautiful thing. thing. But yeah, it's like what I have to do for you. It's like I know all the experiences I've had with you, and I know mm-hmm. all the things that you've told me. Mm-hmm. Everything else, I just kind of like piece together. You're just like, all right, I'm just we'll, we'll connect, yeah, like we'll connect, I'll, connect the dots, and, yeah. like, that, and then that's you. And then yeah. like same for me, and and that's what we do with like the world too. But like the reason why we're able to like because we've been real with each other we we don't like yeah. a lot a lot of people just walk around and they don't actually talk about their real problems they, they don't they don't because like we were saying earlier either you don't you didn't go through exactly what i went through so you wouldn't yeah. understand or there's a lot of people who they don't they don't want to put that burden on people because like mm-hmm. like there's there's a saying it's all like if someone asks you like how are you doing what if i say i'm not doing good you're not gonna do nothing so what's the point of me even saying i'm not right. doing good yeah and yeah because then you have to do like it's it's harder honestly it's harder to be more to be open with people and to like to open yourself up to being accepted or being criticized like or both you know what but I mean? that, that's the see that's the crazy part like we we all like we all keep ourselves in this personal hell until we address our sin and like the crazy the crazy stuff that we've gone through yeah because you have you ever you're you're in a new group of people and you're just like oh, I don't know if I don't know if people smoke or like I don't know if people drink or, or like whatever and then as, as soon as, as soon as one person's like hey you want a beer everything opens like oh yeah it's like that's like our flaws are like we all we all make mistakes like that's what really yeah. brings us all together but instead of having a, a it really it, it bring is, us man. together it, it's just like oh because when you don't when when you don't express it that shame or, or that condemnation or whatever it is it just stays inside of you and so you just continuously want to separate from people and and not talk to people and then people have been hurt by relationships and then yeah. people have been hurt by other people and you and have all that baggage that you bring into like every situation walls. That, yeah like every new person that you meet but it's like you make a great point that like we really do bond over flaws and like that's okay you know what I mean? I mean, like, what, what, what's your, your your work your work best friends know me the per, the person who you talk 
crap about somebody else I work with. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, it, we bond over like, like what we do now mm-hmm. is we'll just say fucked up stuff around each other <laughs> because because it's it's like it's making a bond where it's like I'm gonna say something messed up and you're gonna say something messed up and then we know that neither of us are gonna go like behind our back and like get each other in trouble or something. Mm, yeah, exactly. It's not even about like it's just about like I trust you enough to just like just talk. Yeah, like just to talk, you yeah. know, and that that opens up like a big Cause bonding. Even experience. even that, but like, because that like that, and that's why, like, I'm a very strong advocate. I don't care funny or not. Comedy, comedy needs to be protected, not because of oh, you need to be able to tell jokes, but because. It, in comedy, it, it's it's the last place where truth can be told yeah. in, in a in a specific way. Like I have a saying, I don't know if I made it up. I I, I give I gave credit to whoever might have made it up, but yeah, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna take. But yeah. it's um, you only feel attacked by things you're trying to defend. That's a great yeah. That's a great insight. Like like for example, if I'm like you're stupid, it's yeah. like. Well, I know I'm not. So, like, like, yeah. Do I want you saying I'm stupid every day? No, but it, well, yeah. It's but, a, but like, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't affect if because you know, like, if you know that you're not something, or you, if you know who you are, that insult's not gonna affect you. Yeah. But if there's a little grain of truth it in there, there's a little, it's like it's like ah, it's like ah, why? Hey, <laughs> not, you know, I mean, shield, but, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like, oh, you may be exactly. <laughs> like, and, it's, yeah. and instead of and instead of looking at that and looking inward and being like taking the humor in it or, or take just not even the humor just taking the truth in it it's you made me feel bad yeah but I can't you take you, the, you turn I, the responsibility on the other person instead of taking on the responsibility yourself I can't make you feel bad that that is a hundred percent that can't is, make you feel good exactly you know like, it's like is, you, can, a, you you can you can make people feel bad you can make me feel good but really well because it it's the other person's responsibility in in taking that and feeling however they're going to feel about it because if you're friends you could say fucked up shit to each other exactly. and then it's fine exactly. but like you know it changes depending on who it's coming from a lot of the time that, that was something i was talking with my dad about where <laughs> yes are there people who just say mean things just to, just to see you break they like for sure for sure yeah there's the, there's, there's those people that like try and search for like yeah, the weaknesses but i would say really overall a lot of people when they say things they're trying to say it or they actually are saying it from a place of love yeah 100 percent, dude but but we don't open ourselves up to that like we it, it's just so much easier just to you're you're hurting my feelings you're ex-wife like you're you're to you're assume me. to assume that they're coming from a place of malice or negativity whatever. yeah 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 but yeah, dude, that's so true. Like a lot of the time we have to remember that like communication is difficult, especially with people that you don't know super well, exactly. like new people or people that you just spend like work time around or like mm-hmm. people that you just like, you know, spend a couple hours around. It's like, they're probably trying to communicate in a good way, mm-hmm. but nobody's perfect at communicating. So like, yeah. you have to give people the benefit of the doubt most of the time. You like, know? um, who is, who is that one? Um, is it Alex Troy, the, the artist? It's something. It's oh, something, the guy that's been on Rogan. Yeah. What is his name? It's something. It's Alex Choi, David Choi. David Choi. Okay, David, David, David Choi. Yeah, David Choi. Let me let he, me make sure. Yeah. He's amazing, dude. He, I love that guy. He's one of my favorite artists. He was talking about um, how when he was hitchhiking, um, obviously like he'd hitchhike, he'd, he'd get a ride with somebody, and he'd say like, "Oh yeah, like you know like." The first, like ninety percent of the of the David, of the David Cho, David Cho, David Cho. David Cho. Yeah. Okay. Um, he he was talking about like how like yeah ninety percent of the drive like wherever we're going you know it's just small talk like oh where are you going X Y Z but then he was saying like the last like ten minutes like when he knew like I'm never gonna see this person again people would just like tell just the truth yeah and yeah. I feel like when. It's like when you meet somebody and for you to automatically think that this person who I I may or may not ever see again or I'm not they're not going to have like a major impact in my life and like I'm going to see them a lot to think that these people automatically have like bad intentions for me is really it's like it's it's not a good place to no it's it's not a good you know i was listening to um uh a lex friedman podcast i think and it was either him or the guy he had on that time he said 
choose facilitative beliefs. Like, even if that's true that this person has negative intent, like, is it going to do you the best to assume that? Exactly. Like, is it going to facilitate a good interaction? Like, is it going to facilitate positive interactions just to have that idea yeah. going around? It's like, you might as well, even if you're wrong and the person does have negative intent, mm -hmm. you might as well assume that they don't, yeah. you know, and always be on guard for it. Cause like there's, yeah. there's crazy people, you know, you have to be able to be on guard about it, but to assume that people have negative intent walking around is not going to, well, be, I mean, do anything good. Right. Right now we just live in the opposite. Cause like the same way that you shouldn't just assume everybody's nice. Yeah. Well, we're just assuming everybody's mean yeah, <laughs> or, or yeah. evil. And, and so it's, it's like, it's like finding this balance, that middle ground. Yeah. And it's, but but like you were saying, oh, it's like we have access to so much information. Yeah. We we have access to to be able to go back and, and look at history and learn. From, but like, yeah, we also have the ability to go up and like erase it too. We live in a really high stakes time because honestly, like because we can we can use the technology for good. It's it's like crazy how high stakes it is. Yeah, because <laughs> like for real, because <laughs> because we can really use it for good and like go back and look at those things and really learn from it and like really wise up with the tech that we have or we can just use it for like ridiculously bad intent you know and that that's why like when when whenever i'm able to have these like deeper conversations about everything mm. it it always has to come back to like the spiritual battle of everything because like to me none of this can make sense unless you bring it back to like it's like why like why why would all of these things seem to be being manufactured or like why is why we're, we're not dumb. Like, like you don't, you don't see other animals dying out because of stuff. Like the only time that you'll see an animal like species die out from like something that they're doing is like, Oh, they just ate up all the food in the area and they just didn't know how to leave. Yeah. We're doing that, but like we, we know how to fix it, but we're just purposefully we're running to the finish line. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Like, and it's like, that doesn't need to be the finish line. Like we, yeah. could, we could push it way back. We like push it way back. We could take off on a, a detour and be like, well, first we're going to do this. And like, even if we do want this to be the finish line for whatever crazy human reason that we have, Honestly. like, let's just take a detour or like, yeah, like let's take a different road. Let's build a different road. Like we have the ability to make decisions and like mm -hmm. free will and like the ability to plan for the future. But like, I don't think, I don't know, like maybe a group of people has done that mm -hmm. and they have planned for the future. And like, maybe that's why this is all like marching, you know, ferociously toward this finish line. Yeah. But I mean, you make a good point with this, with the spiritual like battle of it or like the spiritual underpinnings. Cause like that is what everything sp springs out of. Yeah. You have the cultural effects, the social effects, the political effects, and it's all underpinned by that like spiritual battle or like spiritual, you know, definitely. element that, that we have. It, it, it definitely is. It's, it's, it's evident in everything that we do. I mean, it, it would it would be one thing if you saw like I see it the most in most prevalent in music. Why like why is it always the devil and demons? Like why why is everybody battling demons? Why can't they just be battling problems? Like yeah. like why like why is it always specifically demons? Oh, I got angels around me. Why like why is it like these very and, and it's not just in, in this this is across all cultures. There, there's yeah. there's a, a demon angel god Satan figure in every in every culture forever. Good and evil, good and evil, and then the beings that are on both sides. It's like yeah. there's whether you, you call him God, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, whatever, there, there is a figure of that magnitude. But now it's just like, if we, if we all can understand that these figures are somewhat real, why, why are we moving around like 
these like they're not exactly it's so weird yeah it's so weird and i think that's part of like i don't know if it's some sort of initial like educational initiative that's on purpose but everyone knows it seems like everyone knows in their heart that there's good and evil and that there's like dude people will believe in like aliens and ghosts and like the craziest things but then we'll talk about like was there a god and like Satan and people will be like, no, nah, I don't know. And it's like, well, you believe in everything else. I mean, like the, the same, know? like faith, the whole world operates off of faith. When, when you, when you like, when you really look at it, I mean, whatever, whatever you believe with this, the whole medical crisis, you have to have faith either, not, either in God's going to take care of you you're going to have faith that your natural immunity is going to take care of you. You're going to have faith that a vaccine or modern medicine is going to take care of you. At the end of the day, you are going to have to have faith in it because we don't know everything. I, I don't got no PhD. I, I, I haven't, I haven't read this. I haven't read the studies. I haven't, mm-hmm. I haven't put the, the man hours into like double, triple and quadruple check all these sources. Yeah. So we're all even operating. if you have, like there's no way to know everything. Like there's no way to know the future. Exactly. There's no way to know how things are going to play out. And so we, like that that's that's, it's it's the funny thing because like when you look we're all we're like we're all built to operate how God had it designed like we're we're a bunch of chickens with our heads cut off with flamethrowers like like we like we like we 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 have too much power like we we having free will like like it's evident that we have free will like and that like yeah like for, for yeah. example being in the military yeah a, a part of your free will is taken from you yeah however there is a freedom in that yeah 100 percent. having that discipline opens up if you have discipline from this time to this time oh wow it's crazy how much free time opened up from this hour to this not, hour not even not even necessarily that but just having somebody else tell you exactly what to do oh in that way yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. then you don't have to think for yourself you know in certain aspects you're going to do this from this hour to this hour oh well okay i don't even have to think about it then yeah yeah 100 and, and and that's and that's, that's how it is with with covid now too it's like people people i don't know why maybe this is just part of human nature or maybe it's just the time period that we're in or like maybe maybe it's biblical and spiritual like we're saying like it probably is but like people want to be ruled by something people want to be told to do what told what to do by something whether it's like fauci the government uh you know in whatever capacity that is the who Mm -hmm. um we want to be told what to people want to be told what to do right now there's a there's a verse uh i want to say it's in revelations but it, it pertains to the end times where it says like in the end times people will um search for teachers that like the yeah the the premise of it is like people will search for teachers that they agree with not necessarily teachers that tell the truth but just teachers that i think it like says like that soothes their ears or, or some, something i think it might lines. be from second timothy or it, it might be one of those ones that like I, i've been noticing reading the bible more that there's a lot of scriptures that it's like oh you find it here and it also says like the same thing here have you seen i swear jordan peterson is like the most Christian, non-Christian I've ever met. In my life. <laughs> like, like when he talks about God, I'm like, you see it. You just, you're, you're, like, like, you're just like, like, but, but he, yeah. he showed, he showed how, like, where say something was brought up in Genesis. It's also brought up in here. And when he showed yeah. the overlapping of it, it was like, yeah, that it was like photo. This perfect. It was literally a perfect. It, and then like semi circle. Yeah. And it goes back to like the golden ratio and like, like how all of these things like yeah. have like this, perfect order to them yeah and it's like that's the wild thing about the bible man it's like it's different books written by different people over different time periods in different areas how did they enter he said it's the most hyperlinked book in ever <laughs> ever and it's like it is wild how you know what more evidence do you need that it's like divine text like the word of god it's the you know whole I mean? like this like the holy how, spirit in each person that is not just in those disciples it's in everybody yeah because there's there's always a point where everybody is like okay you see something and like you cannot deny god with that yeah whether it's a sunset or you 
know, your your child making you smile or what, whatever it may be. Like there, there's something that is always just like, nah, this is this is this is something bigger than than me or bigger than whatever's going on around us. Yeah. The intelligent design argument is like it's it's so self evident mm-hmm. people who argue i don't understand how people argue from the well i do understand it because like i used to argue from this that like it's all random and that like you know we evolved the the what most scientific people or people what am i trying to say the popular belief right now in science is that the big bang happened and then you know the mm-hmm. galaxy formed this universe this universe formed it's ever expanding the planets formed earth formed evolution from you know like like water beings or whatever yeah, like single cell like, organisms and then it like yeah. you know but it's like okay imagine a universe where everything was random I, I like to think about like Rick and Morty and stuff yep. like that that's kind of like the, that's, the joke in that yeah. I think is like you get to see universes that are completely random explain symmetry in this in this world like, come on just, just just that alone yeah it, it there, there's too many things to where the, like this isn't just an accident even things that look like accidents you go back and it's like oh that wasn't an accident because that led to this led to that led to that and that's why all this stuff happened the way that it happened i mean most of the world's greatest food dishes were made by accident i mean when you really think about how a cake is made if you really look at the ingredients it's kind of nasty it's like okay you took some flour and you threw eggs and milk and sugar and butter like you took a lot of really weird things but it tastes great and it came out to be amazing like it, there, there is the randomness of it but it's like but then it all stacks on top of itself and it works you know somehow and like denying god is the reason why like we're sprinting to this and like for for example with the whole um like with the big bang well what if when god just created the the heavens and the earth what what like I, I mean, I haven't read the whole Bible, so I'm, I'm not going to, but I don't think there's anywhere else where it's like, oh, and then he created Jupiter and he created Mars and he created the uh, uh, parallel universes and an alien. Like, like, for example, I believe that the earth is flat. I believe that how it says in the Bible, we live in a firmament. Yeah. Even just that alone, if, if we knew which, again, I feel like this information is suppressed by modern government who is being controlled by the devil. Because yeah. if Say we it, dude, knew we didn't get off. J- just saying, people people don't like this flat earth stuff. Oh. But if you look at what's happened just in the last two years, this is all stuff that 10 years ago people were talking about. And 10 years ago, people would have said, you're crazy. Well, all of that stuff has come to fruition. So at this point, like, and just just as like principle, like we all have to think completely freely. If our minds aren't thinking completely freely and taking everything as possible, you know what I mean? Especially Mm -hmm. when it's in like, as Christians, like it's, it is the word of God. Like how, how are we, you can't deny the word of God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like how, how are we, how are we at the point where we're like, we're like, well, it is in the Bible, but we're not going to believe that. It's like, what you know it is kind of weird so because i mean th- just, just think how how much better would we treat the earth if everybody on earth knew this is it there's no getting off yeah. there's no other planets there's there's no there's no mars is gonna save us yeah there is no oh, we're gonna terraform this is it this is all we got and that's it. The whole earth would operate differently. Also, if we knew that we were just stuck here, we would treat each other a lot better because yeah. it's like, okay, we, we all, there's no escape. There's no escape to another planet. There's no escape to the metaverse. We, we know. know that we know that we have to, we have to deal with reality head on. Yeah. But that is- That's a reason why I think that, there's certain information that is suppressed because yeah, I want to, I want to hear what you think about the flat earth. Cause I remember, I'll be honest, mm-hmm. you've, you've thought about this for a long time mm-hmm. and I remember hearing you talk about it. And like, I, 
I always want to be open-minded and a free thinker, but I was like, eh, that, that might be a little too far for me right now. But they're always, I, I'm at the point where I was seriously researching it a couple I, weeks ago, like definitely. mind completely open. I'm, so I'm open to it. Here, here, here's where, here's where I'll, I'll start it off. Anytime that I hear any type of information that is just universally not universally because obviously there has to be some, a group that believes it for it can't be no, but yeah this, but like, this when, is, it, when it's like a large push to where it's not just like okay i hear you but i, I this is what i think it's you're stupid you're idiotic like, you better I, I, think that like I've, I've told people yeah. this who like I've had normal conversations with you. And then it's just like, oh, wait, wait, you, you believe that the earth is flat? I don't know if I get. And it's just like Whoa. anything that is like that is weird. It's like, why is this such sensitive territory? And and so and so that's that was one of the reasons that really kind of like just opened my mind. Obviously, if you want to go my main the the main grounding of it, I don't I don't I don't care about oh, there's not aliens. I, my whole my whole thing is, yeah. is the biblical side of it. And if we if we knew that we couldn't get out of here, it would prove that we were put here. Because how else? If there was if there was no Big Bang, if there was no this, if there was no that, like to me, the Big Bang. When God said let there be light, that's the Big Bang. When when God was going through the seven days of creation, that is. I'm okay with all... there not even being a Big Bang to be honest, because wh- how I look at it now is like, okay, we have this creation story mm-hmm. from the Bible. <laughs> why did we make another one? <laughs> and obviously like, yeah, there's tons of creation stories. There's like the Hindu, every religion has their creation story mm. and science does too. But the thing about science is it's so arrogant. No Christians, I'm sure over the course of history, yeah, there's like, we don't have to get into that. Like everyone knows that there's like terrible moments of, of like Christian history, like the crusades and stuff. Yeah. But there's not an arrogance right now that's like if you don't if you're not a Christian you're an idiot and it I'm, and it's I'm like, not gonna say never. I haven't, I haven't lived forever. But like, yeah, that's really like. There's probably other times. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. It, Christians have also been persecuted for the entirety of history. You know what I mean? And now you know there's Christians being persecuted in the Middle East. There's Christians being persecuted in this country at this point. Yeah. Like, like people. The flat Earth thing is interesting because that is a it's a Christian. I like, because it. To, to understand like for anybody listening to understand it it's you have to you have to first understand who God is while God is this omnipotent all powerful this however whatever you want to equate God to he is that but above all of that he's our father yeah and so I don't know how people were raised, but the uh, uh, in, a, in a good household, the father tries to provide the most stability. He tries to make things as easy as possible for the kids, make things simple. When you really look at the world, as complex as it is, it is very, very simple. Science has said it many times. They don't understand how gravity works. What if this just weighs and it weighs more than air? Now we're spinning 7 billion miles of hour on an axis, flying through space at a billion miles at, yeah. at numbers that we can't even perceive. And just what if, you know, just it's as simple as, yeah, stuff weighs, it, it comes down, you know, we, we got. Yeah, it, it has higher density than air. So it so falls through the air. That makes a lot more sense to me. And, a lo- you know, to be honest, science is such a weird, like closed gated thing. It's like, well, you don't understand how reality works because we've done the research. And it's like, well, yeah, <laughs> well, at the same time, I've been on this earth and I've experienced things. And that's how we come to know anything mm-hmm. is like, well, how does the world work? That does that. I mean, that, you know that's I mean? why the, like, that's why the first indicate like the fir- the first people to say like they said the earth is flat. Yeah, because it, it's just all, what they could observe. They would go to the highest of mountains and they would just look at the horizon and it. It's a horizon. It's yeah. When I, I, I've been getting into this for the last couple of weeks. And when I went up in the plane, sure enough, it's like, 
it's flat. Like, like, like <laughs> it, 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 if you're not, if you're not trying flat. to look for a curve, it's like, it's like, look at what's there. That, that's all I'm saying. There. It's just look at what is there. And, and that's, that's the thing that I like about this, that we need to get back to like as people, but like as Christians is like, let's just look at what's going on and take the reality of it. Yeah. Because like, that's, that's how we're going to face the reality. Cause like we said earlier in this podcast, like we're not looking at reality right now. We're listening to other people. We, we, it's so weird. And I think it's like some, maybe you have ideas about this, but I'm trying to wonder what it is. Cause it seems like it's like lack of self-confidence or like self love or like something. Cause people are like, I don't know about the world or what to do. So just somebody else tell me what to do. I mean, you know? it says, and it's so weird because you should bring that to God, you know, like I've brought that to God. Like yeah. all, every, some, sometimes it's like every, some weeks, it's every night of that week. Yo. Look, I don't know what to do. Exactly. I don't know what to do. I'm struggling. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like help me out you know, but we're doing it to other people. And I think that's really, really dangerous because yeah. we're just human. I mean, it, it says in the Bible, my children will be destroyed for lack of knowledge, not because they don't believe, not, not because they'll be destroyed for lack of knowledge for being ignorant, that, that ignorance is bliss. It's like that, that to me, that's the biggest reason as to why in certain groups, there's such a pushback on whether COVID is real or not, whether the earth is flat or not, whether, um, just like, you know, like these are just spicy topics, the, the topics that, that, that shake up the room. It's because if it is true or if, yeah. if that radical yeah. truth is true, we have to rethink so many things about what's going on. And there, and people are, they're already, go, they're already barely breathing. They're already, they're barely so keeping true. their head above the I water just, right now. Yeah. And too, like, I think with young people, cause with old people, it's understandable. It's like, yeah. it's like, I've thought about the world. <laughs> it's kind of funny too. Cause like, it's like, like I've thought about the world in one way for this long. I'm just good. let me be. I'm good. I just want to freaking, you know what I mean? I'm 70. Let me chill in my retirement yeah. home in peace. Yeah, so there's that, and I get that. Yeah. I, compl- I 100% get that. And But I think for young people, it's, you know what? I've been told that my life is going to go like this. I've been told that I'm going to, you know, if, if things go well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to meet somebody. I'm going to get married. I'm going to get a house. I'm going to have two kids. I'm going to yeah. work. I'm going to, and I think people want that so bad because it's way better than like not knowing what's going to happen. And so people are just like, I just want my life to be normal. I don't want to worry. You know, whatever the government says, whatever the WHO, whatever the UN says about COVID, it's probably true. Mm -hmm. They know better than me. Yeah. And it's like, no, like I, I, sure there's experts, but Mm -hmm. it's like, you can't come at life and reality. Like, like, Oh, everyone knows better than me. It's like, you have eyes, you have ears. What do you think? Well, because that, I mean, you know? that, that saying of like, well, it's my truth. What, what do you mean by my truth? Yeah. There is just the truth. Truth there, is singular. There, there isn't, there isn't There's one versions truth. of truth. Yeah. That's not truth. <laughs> it, it, there is it, one truth. Exactly. Yeah. And so like when, when you're talking about the young people, I feel like that's the message that's being pushed onto them is oh, just find your truth. What, yeah. what do you, what do you believe in? What, how, what lets you go to sleep at night? But it's not letting you go to sleep at night because you you know that okay you can think whatever you want to get through this night but you know that you're, you're gonna have to go be there tomorrow. Everyone yeah, knows that there's that. reality. Everyone knows that there's truth. Mm-hmm. But you know there's that sinister whatever that like sinister force is that's telling people that just find your truth. Yeah. You well, know? I mean, that's the, that's the, you got 8 billion truths. That's the, walking around the earth. That's not going to go well. Well, that's my truth. That's my truth. That's why it's like, no, we have to agree that truth, you know, is above our self. Yeah. But that's the number one rule in the Luciferian Bible is basically really? live, live for self. Yeah. A, a hundred, yeah. Like, w- yeah. Whatever, whatever makes, whatever makes you feel good, whatever you want to do, do it. That, yeah. that, that's literally like the key instead of, principle of, instead of living for God, like instead of there are other things above me, I am above you, everything. You, you make yourself your own God. Instead of submitting to God in Christianity, <laughs> you are your own God in, and, and that, see like, that's the crazy thing. Like there, 
I definitely didn't come up with this thing. I forget, I forget who said it, but they were talking, it, it was basically saying, if you're not running into the devil, it's because you're walking with him. Yeah. And I was, it was just like, whoa. Yeah. Like, I mean, I just see, I, I see people like, Spicy take. Spicy take. Uh, dude, I want all yeah. the spicy takes. Like, like I said, the last two years, like uh, everything's on the yeah. table, dude. I, like, everything's I'm, on the I'm table. So like for for example, um with like the gay LGBTQ sure. community, I feel like a very, very, very large portion of that group at some point in their in their youth had some type of sexual abuse happen to That's them. That's true. Or, or That's something, 100% along, true. something along those lines. Yeah. And instead of helping these people recover from like like there's a, like there's a lot of hurt people that were not allowed to help because you're 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 triggering me you're bringing up my past trauma yeah we you have to bring up bring it up to get past it you can't yeah. you can't keep on living there and you can't like let it be okay to live there because yeah. do you ever think that this is spicy take yeah. point two on this yeah. do you think that we set up not we but do you think that there are groups set up up for like acceptance so that you don't have to deal with the actual problem because i i know for a fact yeah. that like a lot of those people like have like i've had friends mm -hmm. all of them have had sexual abuse in their past and it's like huh i wonder if that is what's going on like they're not like but there's this whole push to where like i was born this way it's like maybe some people i don't know maybe some people but and, and, yeah, damn I'm, damn there's a lot that, most of I'm the people saying. that i've in fact all of the people that i've talked to uh, a lot a lot of a lot of the people who are in that community that I, that i've called friends in, in the past they're still friends i just don't i, just, I moved no i know so, yeah, yeah but yeah. like when when you get when you, when you start get, to, when you get to that point where hey the conversation we're having is in love and there's no judgment here yeah it, it, it comes it to, goes there it, it, it gets to that point i'm just yeah. like and you have enough of those conversations where it's like huh, i wonder if there's something else going on here that nobody's talking about because like yeah. let's just have a parade yeah down like, the street you know i don't know i mean i'm 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 all for people finding happiness but it has to be true happiness like we have to yeah. we have to find cures not just treatments for symptoms like yeah yeah i mean dude i have a i have a gay friend right now who's like you know he's he's been quoted as saying ain't nobody want to ain't nobody want to be gay and it's like huh like that's just a weird thing that you know what i mean like there's yeah. a struggle behind those words that we're not talking about because and dude this is coming from like all love and acceptance of those people but it's like at the same time like let's have the conversation but see here's even the crazier thing your gay friend saying that will be criticized by other gay people. Yeah, I know. But we're, we're, well, like, we were supposed to be on the same team. What, 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 yeah. what, what, like, did, this is my truth. This, yeah. this, this, this is, this is, this is my, but, and then that's when you start to realize there's agendas behind things. Yeah, exactly. Like, where's the, where's that conversation? I mean, the, the Dave Chappelle, the Dave Chappelle show, his most recent one. Yeah. Exhibit A. Yeah, literally did the the story that he talked about with his with his gay friend who ended up killing herself because of the backlash that she got. Yeah, that that whole story is Exhibit A of the the LGBTQ movement is not about finding your love. The feminist movement is not about uh, having men and women be equal. Um, and any 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 of these movements, there's all sorts of yeah. I mean, if we want to. So, yeah. yeah. So beyond that, I think, I think there's a lot more movements that aren't being completely honest. Uh, the definitely. climate movement, I think is, it has a weird population control mm -hmm. little spin on it. Mm, and I think that's, definitely. I think that's a huge, huge problem that we're not talking about again. Cause it's like flat earth where it's like, it's one of those things that if you disagree with the narrative, mm -hmm. you're an idiot you're all of the all of the name calling the name calling comes out that's what's weird that, that, anytime you're trying to have an intelligent discussion and the name calling comes out it's like 
this this it's isn't a, it's an a fallacy. It's a straw man fallacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You're, this isn't a discussion anymore. You're you 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 whittled this down to. It's actually a compliment too, because whenever people do start to, it's like, oh, I've come to the end of your argument. Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> like, all right, like you have man, nothing yeah. else. You're at the end of your rope. It's like, all right, cool. <laughs> you know, you're you just have names now. Exactly. And you know, as soon as I cut that off, you have nothing. But the, but the, like, like for me, especially in conversations like this, like you could say because the same thing. Uh, Unless I'm feeling attacked, unless I'm trying to defend something, I'm not going to feel attacked by it. So, like, yeah. I can get a lot of heat back for a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with it. But, like, at, like at my core, it's just, like, I see so many hurt people walking around. this. So many people dealing with problems, with just pain, shame, uh, guilt, whatever it might be. Yeah. And, like, we literally cannot help people anymore. Like, I... I, I see women walking around and it's like, do they listen to the, oh, women empowerment, go get your OnlyFans money, sleep with as many dudes as you want to, it's your year, sis, yada, 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 X, Y, Z. Or do you risk being shamed because you're just like, oh, like, oh no, I, I don't, I don't like doing that or, or, or I, I don't like doing this. It uh, Again, it, it comes to this point where it's like, when is it, I mean, there's there could be a purpose because yes, when we, especially like when all of these movements started to come up, there was a a, a hard pushback by it. But then, like we were saying earlier, going back, it's like, well, why was there a hard pushback? Like, I'm not saying it, it's the same. It's the same thing. Like a, it's like a slavery. It's like the slavery talk. It's like, oh, like, oh man, slavery's bad, but it helped build America. I'm not saying that it was right, but what 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 came out of it? What came out of it too was the first civilization that completely. I mean, I don't know about completely because like, because the Epstein stuff comes up, but it's like there's. I mean, it's a, it's a difficult discussion, but like good things have come out of it. Like you know and, I mean? and, and and not like how 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 I'm more so trying to frame it is like. There can there there is good things that can happen in movements that they're like yeah we 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 don't need slavery like but the work needed to get done and you just pay them (laughs) there's there's no issue there's there's literally no way like hey yo here's a dollar or two that that, that's that's back (laughs) then's money it's such a strange uh like system that was set up you know what i mean it's like well we need the labor done it's like yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't we just cooperate? Exactly. Like, hey, you know, it's so we can get a lot more done if we're all yeah, doing like, so. yeah, dude. It's so weird, and, and that's where you run up on like the system was actually inferior. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, that's eventually why it gets phased out anyway, or at yeah. least we hope. You know, but you know, that's also just another example of evil. That's. I mean, that it, works in the world, you know. Uh, another another Bible verse: all all uh, like the evil, everything that's evil will be turned to good. Or some, it's like again, I'm paraphrasing all these yeah. things, but it, it it really is like every everything that's bad that's happened in the world, some good comes out of it somewhere. Like it, it it's it's so wild how just like crazy things will happen. Yeah, I think I think. It's like, it's such a weird, the world is strange, you know? Cause like you do have the battle of like good and evil and it's like, why, you know? And that's where you just really do go back to like the, it being biblical. And it's like, you know, we're here temporarily like to become better people and like stronger with God. And like, it's all part of a plan, you know what I I mean? mean, And like, there's, there's stuff that's fucked up and then there's stuff that's good. And it's just like, it's all for this, you know, it's all like God's, but, but see, even that, cause like, like a lot of people forget this wasn't, God put us in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. We messed that it up. That is true. That we, is true. Yeah. We, we ate from the knowledge of good and evil. We already knew good. So we just ate from the knowledge of evil. 
Yeah. We as people messed it up. Again, that's that's why Christianity is denying self and accepting Christ. Because right. before we were one with Christ. There, there was, there was no, there was no separation. We, right. we were in the Garden of Eden in direct communion with God, and we chose because God gave us free will. We chose to separate we chose ourselves. To away. We chose to put ourselves into chaos, right. into into the wilderness, and so yeah. And so this is all the fall, really. So I, I mean, this is the fall of man from the Garden of Eden into what we have we, now. We into like into history. Know, like like think of think of any negative word we like especially like when you talk to kids like for for example i remember uh when i used to work at the boys and girls club yeah I, um i went up and uh i was listening to something in my head in my headphones and some kids like who are you listening to i'm like drake and he's like who i'm like what <laughs> i'm like how do you not know who drake is but like really think about like what yeah. if you didn't know what the word sick was what if you didn't know what the word death was or yeah. lack, poor, hurt, pain? Like, like if you did not know these words, if you did not know, like when you give something a word or when you give it a title, it becomes real. It's reality. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, it's not there. Yeah. And so we were, we were living in this world of pure everything what we every everything good yeah this utopia that everybody talks about that was that where yeah. living that, with how, god like in in love and peace and uh, prosperity how, like you said can, all of the good how could we war with i don't even know what war is i don't even know what i don't even know what an argu- i don't even know what an argument is it's not even a thing i don't know what yeah. lying is i only can tell the truth because i don't know what a lie is well, because it hasn't happened yet you know what i mean and then that fall from garden from the fall. garden all of these things started to happen and it's like well what do we call these things and then we yeah. blame god for it yeah that's true and and, that's and, true. Then, and then we all blame god like yeah we like it, we abdicate ourselves of responsibility and we're, and we're like well it just must be like because when, you, cause when it's you like really, no it's it's us like when you really think it's about us. it us like when you really think that god put us in the garden of Eden. Like, even if you, even if you've never read the Bible, you know what the Garden of Eden is. Yeah. Like, and you know it's supposed to be this magical place of. That's what God put us like. That like that was His design for us. That yeah. was His plan for us. It was. It that was our to have uh, us original state of being. That that's why when when I was we're looking we're looking for someone to tell us what to do because that's how we were designed. Yeah, we we were designed to. We weren't. We wow, were designed so, to to, so to the the only thing that God told Adam to do was just to name all the animals. Like and that wasn't the only thing. Like, but like that was that was yeah. the first task he told him to do, which th- that gave him authority over everything. Because like you said, or like we were saying, when you give something a name, you you make it real. So Adam made everything that was already here. He made it all real. Right. He he gave he gave everything a name. Right. And we do have authority over. We have authority over the land. We have we have authority we have over everything. Yeah, like yeah. For, like remember that one time where we walked like back, uh, like in the back of Palm Springs, like in up in the in the mountains. But yeah. there's a chain link fence there saying like you can't go back here. Yeah. It's like says who? Says who? Yeah. Like this is yeah. As as people like obviously don't like. We're not advocating trespass. Yeah, like oh, I'm just gonna walk up into Kanye's house and just yeah, like, 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 I'm, I'm not saying private but, property. But yeah, like, but, what, but what we're talking idea, about, like it's the idea that like that that like fundamental idea that in the Garden of Eden we were free to walk around and do. We we, we there was we, only we, one we, thing that we couldn't do. We had free will. Yeah, just don't <laughs> do this. Was, and that was that was that was supposed to be our our sacrifice to God. That was supposed to be like our tithe to God. Yeah, that, that was supposed to be the one thing where we sacrifice something of ourselves yeah. or which is just this tree and we're going to sacrifice this back to God. That, that was it. Yeah. And that's how it's supposed to be. But we've fallen into a state where now I can put up a fence and we think that we have dominion and authority over each other. And that's so like, that's so. And it's wild because weird. we all have this power but not everybody knows it. It's like, it would be like if everybody had a billion dollars in a bank account that they knew that they had, but they just choose to not use it. Or like, 
like um or they don't know that they they have that because that again that's that's not being taught i mean there's versions of it being taught what do you mean like the, the secret manifestation you know the oh you put good energies go put good vibes out into the earth and the earth the universe will just bless you back or just just have your mantra in the morning of just like and good things will happen to you because there are laws because okay we're made in god's image how did god create everything and god said let there be light and god said let there be this so our the that's word. why our words the word that's yeah. why our word again when you give something a name they, that's the power of it our, our words have power so yes that is true through god not through ourselves through god we have that power it says in the first book of john mm -hmm. he goes uh and God was the word like there's this really mm -hmm. like that's one of the, the coolest ideas I think that yeah. there is is like the the connection between like the word and being divine definitely you know? like yeah and it's We're the only thing here that speaks the only thing. like it's language is such a it's like it's a divine quality it's a gift that yeah it, it, is. it really is a gift and we I mean why why does everything have to have a name and why does it have a different name every other week like it, it's to constantly keep us in a state of confusion it's it's constantly to to give yeah. power to things that should not have power yeah because or a new variant it's like it's like let's be real there's probably a lot of variants mm -hmm. there's probably thousands of variants think about it man it's like a it's a virus it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be variant in everyone we're different biological entities exactly your thing that you have is gonna be different than what i have but we're like no there's three it's like yeah, it's like yeah i yeah, yeah sure yeah, yeah. like sure cool. <laughs> yeah and they all have like delta oh my god oh my god <laughs> like yo <laughs> I, i'm not even gonna lie hey y'all do hey y'all doing a great job with coming <laughs> up with these names yo. yeah like the, like the, hey yo the propaganda initiative is <laughs> whoever's running it is doing, doing a good it. job hey i mean and and see that's see that's the beauty like <sighs> I give the devil credit. He really That's good. what I'm he, saying. He's <laughs> so good at what he does. Like, like he's yeah. here to steal, kill, and destroy. He's the master of lies. And yeah. so what's what's the what's the best way to get people to um not believe in God? To make them not to make them not even think that he's real. But also, what's what's one of the when bad stuff happens, nobody even talks about the devil. They're just like, oh God, how could you let this happen? It's like you have there's a whole people. person here like actively there's a whole person actively working to make your life yeah. miserable yeah but you'd never address him because i feel What's like weird, though is that so, well some people do like yeah. you know you brought up entertainment and media before mm -hmm. like it's so strange how much of a connection that that sector has with the devil you yeah. know what i mean like music and stuff like you got it's so weird like little little i think you told me this mm -hmm. little uzi vert lucifer, lucifer, lucifer yep. yeah it's like oh, there's all he, sorts of stuff he like literally that he had a concert he had a whole concert where he he walked up to the stage uh, he he was addressing the crowd and he said ha 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 y'all just sang the songs y'all thought it was just a joke the rapture's here and i don't see any of you guys go i don't see anybody going up here so you guys are all stuck here with me you guys all thought it was a joke you he all said, said that he literally said what, that what 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 would you for people listening what would you type in on youtube to um because that that's I That's would must say like a little Uzi Vert um, rapture concert, something like something along those lines. And then to to even address it to to something even more recent, which this this actually really messed me up. The, yeah. The, the Travis Scott concert. Yeah, we'll talk about this in a second. I wanted to talk to you about this. Okay, so go to DuckDuckGo and type in what Marcus said. Lil Uzi Vert Rapture Concert. It comes right up. Um, I want to watch that later after the podcast because like, that's that's it, it, it's 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 really it's it's weird yeah dude yeah it, it's, it's just weird because like we're used to the devil you, you might see you might see a pinky toe you, you, yeah you, 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 you might see you might see a shadow just kind of dip off it but when it's just we're that starting, bl it's just like we're starting I'm standing to see the, ar front, the arrogance i'm standing in you know? front of you i'm letting you know what's happening and yeah. you're just oh 
no. people, you know, my dad talks a lot about, cause you know, he grew up like Catholic and Christian and going to Catholic and Christian schools and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he said they, they were always teaching that, you know, like it, there's this one part of revelations that he always remembered is that people would have blinders on like spiritual blinders and people would, and you see that now, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's like, it's wild. right in front of people. Like there's a bunch of BS, like obvious BS. And people are like, like I remember through it, fine with it. There was, there's a, there's a rapper. His name is Sub. Sub baby or Sabibi, however you pronounce it. Mm-hmm. And he he has an upside down cross on his forehead and like six six six. He has some he has that tatted on, on him mm-hmm. somewhere else. And he's like, oh that's not that's not no demonic stuff. That's like that's like the six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. That's carbon. That's that's how that's what we're all we're all made off of. And it's like I see what you did there. Yeah. I, I, I see what you did there. Yeah. Like that was real slick. <laughs> but, but, but no, but, but we're not seeing, but, but, but no. I see through that. Like, like yeah, dude, it, I need to, sh- I, okay. I need to show you, I'll show you after the podcast. Cause it's kind of like, I don't, it's kind of like heavy shit to drop on you. Yeah. Just like, oh, I'll show you the podcast, but I've talked about it before. It's, um, it's CERN. Have you heard of CERN before? It's C-E-R-N. Is that the, is that where the Higgs boson? Yeah, you do is? know about okay, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll get into that later, but it's, yeah, it's a nuclear research research center in Geneva, Switzerland, mm-hmm. which is also where the UN meets. Um, also where the world economic forum meets mm-hmm. every year. Also where this weird tunnel for a train, like a railway was built. Have you heard about that? I've, I've, there's an opening yeah. ceremony for CERN and for the base, the tunnel base for the railway, just like blatantly demonic ritual. And, you know, people will go, Oh, it's just Swiss culture. It's like, no, it's not. Like, and also like, you're telling me that this is for uh, a railway opening or like a, like a Higgs boson research center. It looks more like a port of hell or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like bro. that's not what this is for. You know what I mean? And like, it, it's like what you said with like the blatantness of like kind of the devil just standing right in front of people. And like, I, well, I you know, mean, I mean, it even says it in the Bible that pe- people think that the devil is going to be this red dude with horns and a pitchfork. It literally says that the devil is an angel of light. Yeah. Like it, people would look at the devil and think that that's God if they didn't know better. Yeah. That's scary, man. It's scary stuff when you think about it like that, you know. Because like, 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 if, if you like, it's if, like a if trickster. You ask, if you ask Luciferians, that's what they say. Like, they say that oh, the the, the like Lucifer is an angel of light. He's a good. He's the good. He, yeah. he he, God was oppressing us. He 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 was oppressing the angels. He he was he was holding back and and all this. It, it, it's the same reason why you don't give a kid a, a Ferrari. It's like there's certain things I'm protecting you from. Like I can't just I, while I have the power to do everything, not everything is good for you. Yeah. This is the same thing. Like we have the power to do everything, but everything is not good for us. Yeah. And so we, we have, we've really come to a point in society where we have to really start asking the question of not, can we do this, but should we do this? Yeah. Not from a moral, not from a religious, but just from a, let's like, you can't close Pandora's box. When we open this, there is no going back. Yeah. Like, and there's so many other things we yeah. could do. There's so many other things that we can do. Like, I, you know, I was just, I'm, I was looking, I'm like, bro, like NASA, if we just defunded NASA, do you know, there would be no homelessness or no, uh, uh, famine in the United States. If we just, we went, we went to the moon in the seventies, haven't been back since we've thrown some stuff up in the air, you know, Mars Rover, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll play along with this. I, I don't believe that space is real. I, like, like obviously if, if we, yeah. if we live in this uh, dome, but when, when has any of this stuff ever been like since, since we've been looking at space, has there ever been an asteroid that we've seen that, oh, we, thanks to NASA, we saw this meteor come and we were able to take care of it before it hit Earth? No? Oh, be, thanks. Because of NASA, we have this, uh, we, we found this new mineral that cures cancer. 
we got some cool pictures of Earth, and you know, we which are composite pictures. Oh, I mean, yeah, like that's like, true. That we, so you're saying we, that like like NASA's not bringing a fundamental like good. There, there's a, there's a lot of I mean there there are a lot of of things like that that it's like is this really like take ten percent off of the U.S.'s military budget. Do do we need eight hundred nuclear bombs? We could better fund the troops, like the foot soldiers, making sure that they got the best equipment possible, the best yeah. food, X, Y, Z. Like, there's all sorts of things like that that can happen. You, you got you got soldiers out here with outdated equipment, and we got lay, we got missiles that I can shoot from a couch and hit something a mile away with an inch accuracy. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely not, you know, like we're not hurting for for weapons of mass destruction like, anywhere in the world, you know. And, and so and and that and that's just where these things seem seem more established as an agenda. It's being pushed forward. I mean, even with cryptocurrency, wouldn't it be real nice for the whole world to just be on one currency? Which not which I'm not talking about the individual coins. I'm talking about cryptocurrency as a whole because it's the blockchain. If everything right. was on the blockchain. So what do you think? Yeah, how do you think that would benefit people? Oh, I don't. I mean, I mean, I think it'll benefit people. Well, to to yeah to to not have it be so so dark. I do I do believe that cryptocurrency is a great um is a great thing because it gives people who normally would not have access to traditional banks right. access to a bank account. But not only that, as we've all seen, inflation's at an all-time high. It's yeah. not going to slow down. Yeah, things are crazy right now with that. Gas is like ridiculous. When I went back home, when I went back to California and I saw it said four seventy five, I wanted to cry. <laughs> it's it is three dollars. It is three dollars over here, and people in Texas are saying that that's high. Yeah, and it's like it's five dollars in California. It is like it is so wild. And so when you when you open up crypto, you're giving people access to bank accounts. To like I, I forget, it's one of these South American countries um, adopted Bitcoin as as a legal tender. I want to say it's Venezuela, and immediately two and a half million people got access to a crypto wallet, which is in, in equivalent to a bank account to people who didn't have bank accounts before. You're, you're, you're opening up whole civilizations of people. You're bringing them in from sticks. I mean, it's, think, a, it's a crazy idea that you can separate like currency from a government. Like it doesn't have to be that like, you don't have to be operating like those people in Venezuela don't have to be operating under that system. Mm -hmm. Like there's just this other system that they could sidestep into and like, it's there. Like for, like for, for example, what, it, it, at least in, in my mind, one of the most exploited, um, uh, markets in the world is the chocolate industry. When, when you look at the people who make the code, like basically from like the basic raw product to like what it comes out to, they get paid pennies on the dollar. But like, I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm just going to go with Mexico because I can't, I can't think of, I can't think of what the Venezuelan dollar is, but like you go to, you go to Mexico, you, you, you give them, you give a thousand dollars. You are worth way, way more money in Mexico. And so you have, you, and so when you have these countries whose currency where the government is proven that they do not care about inflation or like they're not trying to stop any type of inflation. They're just, I, I mean, there, there's, I forget there was there was a country that literally knocked off four zeros off of their currency because they're just like it cost sixty four million whatever just to get some milk. Yeah, it's like it's like what? What? Like, 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 yeah, it, it's so weird how how currency works. It's like you can get to that ridiculous point where it's like this just doesn't even mean anything. Yeah, like it's like all of this paper is just you could just burn it and it doesn't mean anything. Exactly. You know, and that's the you know that's the fear with like the dollar is that it could get to that point and, at some point and, and we're not even really close to that right now but like you know anything is possible and then i guess having cryptos just it's necessary because it's like 
Well, if that ever does happen, there's always just a sidestep to this other system and currency that you can. I honestly prosper. think that cryptocurrency is going to be what eliminates the middle class. There are kids, lit literal children, who put a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars into Shiba a year or two ago. Just it's a, it's a dog coin, whatever. Yeah. And they are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars now. Yeah. There, there's people making money for like yeah. by accident in crypto. Yeah. That, that is going to wipe out yeah. the middle class. That might be too chaotic. It, right, like you can't have, you can't have just like a twelve-year-old like accidentally becoming like super rich, right? Or what do you think about that? I mean, I, me, I, I, me, I mean, at, at first glance, and I'm not saying I'm right. Just like first knee-jerk reaction is like, eh, <laughs> that, might, that might not be a great idea. I mean, but nobody bats an eye when. Uh, insider trading goes on between billion dollar companies. No, That's true. No, nobody, nobody That's bats true. an eye. Like, did you see? It's that? always a problem when the when the individual makes money. Yeah, it's never, it's never. Nobody ever says anything when Elon Musk buys a thousand Bitcoin. Oh, he's just, he's just making smart investments. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a, I'm but whenever it's somebody who's not in power, just like some nobody. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's like a bias that we have is like the people who are supposed to be making the money when they make more money. It's like, oh, that's normal. But then when somebody else. Yeah, that's a good. Because I mean, that's good insight. Also, because and, and, and again, because Sheba, like mainly Sheba, because I've I've never seen Sheba over its entire lifetime is up 54 million percent. That means if you put one dollar in its inception, you would be worth 54 million dollars. Yeah. That's just like, but that but that's where that's kind of great. Like it, it, it's, it's a, like a wealth generator. It's a great thing. But that's what I'm saying. Like we're we're, we're going to be placing ourselves because it's going to get to a point where like inflation's not even going to matter because people are just going to have like like th like if you think that Jeff Bezos is the or, or Elon or whoever it is, if you think that they're the richest people in the earth you are highly mistaken highly mistaken yeah it's these little crypto people it's the dude who who invented Shiba who owns half of the entire supply it's these it's these coin like yeah, cuz you can make coins and then you can make it be a limited supply right and so then, then you, you can own and then whatever the worth of it is, is like you just multiply that yeah. by whatever you share you have. And so, and, and that's yeah. where, that's where the people who, like that, that is the, a very large, um, and a, and a very real concern with, with crypto because it's, it's the best trait for it and the worst trait for it. The fact that nobody knows who owns it. The fact that nobody knows who owns the blockchain. I mean, the blockchain is kind of like the internet where nobody owns it, but everybody can use it. Right. But it's like, but it's like a framework. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, it really no, is because people are going to get scammed regardless. <laughs> people are going to get scammed regardless. You can get scammed in the stock market. You can get scammed in the housing market. You can get, you can, however you can make money, you can get scammed. So, the, the same way you can get scammed is so the same this is just kind of a money. different it's just a new one that's just it's up. just a new one yeah. like there were kids making hundreds of thousands of dollars drop shipping fidget spinners yeah what's the difference yeah. like like it's just a new way to make money and in that there's risk it, it, and like there's, the possibility always, for scams but always in risk. any yeah in so, any so you just gotta do your, your research on it yeah and but I mean inflation's up 5% the last time I checked your your point zero 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 one percent interest that you're making from the bank is not gonna get it done if you really want to look at it like that just look at the banks they're they make money off of your money yeah they hey, can, like I, the can, can I hold a hundred bucks yeah. all right bet um I'm, I'm good I'll give you like two cents back appreciate yeah, it and I'll invest the rest hey you need a hundred bucks okay here take this I'm gonna charge you 22% interest on that oh uh you want to hold your money here all right I bet okay we'll, we'll hold this there right. and then that's all that they're doing there yeah there, there is no need for them and so 
Yes. It, and cause see, here, 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 yeah. here's the thing. The value of the dollar always changes. Yeah. But you don't see the value of the dollar change. You see the value of things around you change. In crypto, you see the value of your dollar actually change. But the but the but the price of things around you doesn't need to change. For for example, would you would you rather let's just say you make let's just say you make a thousand dollars a month at your job? Would you rather your job one day say, hey, you know what? Um, the dollar is not worth that much, so you're getting seven hundred and fifty dollars this week. But everything, ev- the price of everything around you is going to always stay the same. Gas is always going to be this much. Bread and milk and eggs is going to be this much. And it's never going to change. And it's static, never going to change. But the amount of money that you make, that can change. Or would you rather... So that's that's more aligned with what, what crypto is doing right now, right? Which is yeah. that the price of the thing actually changes, but everything but, else stays but, static. But, 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 every, but everything else, it, it can stay the same. But... Or, or would you rather have your boss say, okay, here's your thousand dollars, but but now milk is twenty dollars. But now milk is twenty dollars, yeah. gas is is this much especially because you you don't recognize that one quicker. You, you don't you don't you don't see it, it's not as it's, obvious. It, like yeah. it, it's like fuckery. You know? It's like well we'll give you this money, but we'll raise the price of everything yeah, else. I'm, or, or you know, the every, you know And then and then you look up one day and then all of a sudden your four oh one K is not gonna get you to retirement. So all of a sudden at fifty, sixty years old you're having to get back into the job market uh, which is yeah, now dominated by kids. It's more sneaky. It's like a sneakier way of yeah. And also, cryptocurrency inherently gets you into investing. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying that all these coins are guaranteed to go up, but if you look at the history of like, let's just talk Bitcoin, Ethereum, because every every like to me everything else like Bitcoin and Ethereum is like gold and oil. It's yeah. like those are the two primary resources. I mean, that's that's what Bitcoin is equi- is equivalent to. It is like it's crypto gold. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a, a storage of value. Right. So how how should you think like like we said earlier like it's a fixed amount of bitcoins. Yeah. So when you envision like Bitcoin like that's how we should think about it, right? It's like mm-hmm. this room with like however many bitcoins are in that room mm-hmm. and that you're investing into the value of this. Mm-hmm. Is Ethereum the same way where there's a there's a yeah. fixed all, all of these all all um, unless unless it unless it says otherwise, I mean they're like there are coins where you can just mint, just make more. But for Bitcoin and Ethereum. But for Bitcoin, you, you Bitcoin, should imagine them as Bitcoin, like. Bitcoin, there is a set amount. There is not going to be any more Bitcoin. That's the goal is to get Bitcoin to a million so that you could bring it into Satoshi's, which a Satoshi would be one cent. Okay. So then, and that's the name of the guy who invented it, right? So yeah, yeah. And okay. so that's how you. Would, so instead of something costing point zero 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 four five Bitcoin, it, it would just be like Satoshi. it would just be like. All right, that'll be 450 Satoshis for a coffee. Okay. But so it breaks it into like a more into a, usable currency, which, yeah. which all that really means is like people can wrap their head around it. Yeah. I think that's the main, pro- like that's the, the main barrier with, with crypto yeah. is like people are just having trouble wrapping their head around it. But then people make good points about the other systems that we have too, like all the other financial investments that you can make. It's like, do people really have their heads completely wrapped around a mortgage or investing in anything else? It's like, you don't have to necessarily know every single thing about it. Just like, but I think imagining the Bitcoin and Ethereum as like storages of a fixed amount of coins, like that helps me personally. Like think, think of uh, how, how it's been broken down to me is think of Bitcoin like gold and Ethereum's like oil. Okay. Bitcoin, its job is to have value. It's it's meant to be used as like cash. It's it's supposed to be a, a transactional thing. Ethereum's like oil where it inherently has value. Yeah. Because like gold, you can just make jewelry out of it. Yeah, you can make wires and stuff, but let's, yeah, you can, I know what you mean, but like oils, like 
electricity comes from that cars come from that like fuels like it, it's a, it, it has a lot more utility it has inherent value where gold kind of has value that we've placed on it exactly and so and so that's that's the best way to to look at the two and then um and then it's just understanding where the world's going i mean like like a uh, like history. What is this? Like there's like different ways of people saying it. it's like history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes or something like that. It's like yeah, similar things start to look, take place. Look, look at look at how people were talking about credit cards. You're telling me this piece of pal- plastic supposed to take away from my cash or my checks? It's like yeah, yeah. Like that's just oh, what it's gonna oh, do. Oh what? No, I, I would never do that. Uh, oh wait, you're, you're just telling me I could just buy stuff online? And it just comes to my house. Oh, what? No, I don't. I don't. I don't trust that. I don't. I don't trust putting my. my there's information always. On. There's. There's always a barrier. But the people who get in first are the people who reap the the biggest rewards. Yeah. That's why I say it's going to eliminate the middle class because there's going to be the lower class. The middle class will just kind of like morph into the lower class because of. I've like, always. I've always. There will be this, people. There will be groups of people that have so much money, and then like then there's. There's just, just this other group that doesn't. Like it, it's gonna get to a point. I mean, like, like really, like with how fast, like there's crypt, like, like I'm not talking about like scam. I'm talking like legitimate, like real projects with like a white paper, like breaking down exactly what they're what they're planning on doing with this. Full funding by real like venture capitalists, like real things that are up thousands of percent you don't have to put a lot of money when you're getting a thousands of percent return to like really start placing yourself like you're really you're On rapidly a different level. you're yeah. rapidly putting yourself in that one percent yeah and then it gets to the point where because it's such a high reward and such a low risk it's like oh i'll just put this low amount of money and i mean you get this incredible return let's really look at it um what they, um, they just up the uh the minimum wage like 15 dollars across, across yes yeah. elon musk made like a hundred billion dollars last year the wealth the, the rich are getting richer so fast that they can they can make whatever they want of of the earth like the the elites are, the earth is just their playpen yeah whatever they want is is what can happen because when you have that much money and that much power really it's just like they're, they're, they're like they're like the money turns into just like ability to do things they're like so. they're fighting over 15 dollars an hour we could really pay them all a hundred dollars an hour if we wanted to and be still multi-billionaires but they're just fighting over 15 dollars an hour <laughs> Don't don't worry. In in forty years or in in twenty years, when when inflation's up another hundred percent or something crazy like that, we'll make it sixteen dollars an hour. Yeah, <laughs> so funny, haha. <laughs> like, so it's just bringing it along at a rate that doesn't make any sense for what could actually be going on. Before this, people were having to work two, three, four f- jobs just to just to pay rent. I'm not I'm, I'm not talking about people like I'm just a hustler. I'm not, I live in my Malibu mansion. No, I'm talking like I, 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 I'm a server at this job. I make four fifty after after everybody takes their cut. I'm, I'm a I'm a I work at McDonald's right here. I make another like five six hundred doing doing like real hours, like 20, 30, 30 hour shifts. And then um you know I, I, I nanny on the weekends and that gets me another like three four hundred dollars and all that together I, I can pay I can, I can you know get my five six seven hundred dollar a month apartment. I, I got to pay my hundred dollars or two hundred dollars in student loan debt, and, and then it's just like, man, you have all this just weighing down on you. Where you're just like, man, I just want to have some fun, and so then you go and instead of trying to save that money and invest it, you just like, oh, man, I just, I just, I just you, you get into this cycle where it's, it's like, like, man, I, I'm overworking myself just to like pay for stuff, and then the free time, it's like, well, I need, I want to go live my life, and mm-hmm. then you overspend on that, and then you just you get just back to back. it, yeah. Yeah. And so and that, and that's why So I say all that to say that's why I crypto is like an opportunity to kind of step out. It, of it's, that. it's the same it's the same thing as is any other investing. Don't invest money that you cannot that you that um don't invest money that 
you cannot lose. Meaning that yeah. like if this if this all of this money were to leave, you would You'd be screwed. Which yeah. another thing is Bitcoin. Let, let, let's just let's just focus on Bitcoin for, for right now. It, it's gone. It's gone in four year cycles because I don't know if you I don't know if you realize the last time that Bitcoin was popping was four years ago when it hit over it, ten. It, it when does it hit seem over like ten thousand dollars. Yeah. When when it first cracked over ten thousand dollars, it was like, oh man, Bitcoin's at ten thousand dollars, and oh man, I need to get in before it before it goes crazy, and da 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 Yeah. And then you just don't hear about it, and then it. And so in that time, is it slowly creeping up? If or is it kind of if COVID didn't flat-lining? happen. If COVID didn't happen, I think Bitcoin would already have well been over a hundred thousand dollars. Really? So you think COVID slowed it down? Uh, oh, li- literally, you, you see it go like I'm not saying it's this parabolic, like straight up. It's yeah. just like I mean, think think of the panic. So, yeah. think, of, think of the panic. Like That's people, true. people didn't know. That's true. Like they, the last thing you want is like fuck. I don't need this stupid. You, you're, internet you're, you're like you're, you're like, 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 like shit's about to hit the fan. Bro. But then, but then as soon as things kind of even out and the fear goes away, it's mm-hmm. like, well, this is it's still here. this is still revolutionary and it's still here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And all, but and the all that did people think about it differently. And all that did. Oh. Oh, you you need that money so that you can go get your 18th roll of toilet paper? Yeah. Oh, I was already worth 100 million. So let me go get a million dollars worth of this ultra cheap Bitcoin now. Let me go get a million dollars worth of this ultra cheap Ethereum. Like, yeah, it just kind of starts to separate things even more. And then like, what do they say? Be fearful when people are greedy and be greedy when people are fearful. Mm. Like that, like that's why when it, especially when it comes to money, I... Everybody get your legal bag, get to your legal bag, because you know what? At the end of the day, you need money to do stuff. Yeah, you have money. Is I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying, to live, eat, I'm not saying that you need these like multi-million dollar jewelry, cars. I don't, I'm, you don't need that lifestyle. But to be able to protect yourself and live just in these upcoming times, you're going to need money to do that. Yeah. And for people to be afraid of making money, like, oh, man, I I don't want to do X, Y, Z or whatever. It's like, come on. Yeah, I hear Neo. He's whining, I think. Okay, yeah, he's good. But for, for a second, it sounded, it sounded different than mine. He's good. But yeah, li- literally, that's why when, when it, like... But but again, because because even crypto is another one of those things where if you if you listen to mainstream media, it's just crapped on. Yeah. It's just oh this scam thing. And yeah, well, all, and I mean X, all of those, Z. all of these like legacy news networks, like this mainstream media stuff, has completely exposed itself as like yeah. just being a an arm of. Well, we want people to think this, so we'll just push it out. Well, I mean, because you know, we'll push again, the narrative out. I mean, it's when you when you break it down, it's like. Like, oh, okay, well, this media company is owned by this media company, and that media company owns these media companies, but then Disney's that media a, company Disney's a great example. Owns, Disney owns all of that. Disney, <laughs> Disney owns Fox. Disney owns ESPN. ESPN. Let's pull up the, all the stuff that they actually do own. It's it's nuts. Them. And then um, who owns Disney? Don't and, they own, like, Warner Music what, or something? Like, I, 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 know, I know Warner owns a lot, too. I'm actually... What companies does Disney own? The Colossal List. So... Yeah. They own Marvel, Pixar... So this is the whole... They own everything Marvel. Internet Productions, uh, Characters, Inc. Like, every everything that has to do with Marvel and Marvel Studios, they own. All of the companies that have to do with Walt Disney Studios, Lucasfilm, Disney Theatrical are, are these, Group, are these Music just, Group. Are these just like the Fox? Yeah, okay, here, here it is. They yeah. own Fox, 20th Century, FX, Sky Sports, I didn't know the they Discovery owned, Channel. Yeah, National Geographic. Oh, they own Hulu. Hulu. Oh, what? 
NBC History Channel Vice bro how, how, no how do you own how do you Vice. how do you own Fox and Vice Vice is supposed to be Yo, like the shout out to Vice dude oh my god <laughs> Bunch of fucking dude. Vice is supposed to be. Dude. This is the news from the people. Yeah. This is this is Vice. The, this is the uncut. This is the yeah, real dude, news. Alternative. Oh I'm my freaking, god, dude. Yo, you're owned by Disney. They who owns own Fox. You guys are co-workers. They you guys are co-workers. They own it all. Lifetime. Do they own everything? They own, everything. Like when it when it comes to. I thought, I thought that was the GoPro? Meta. Disney owns Go. GoPro. That is why I thought that was the meta. That did look like the meta symbol. Yeah. They own construction companies. I, I, and, then, and then it starts to get into stuff that like we don't even know how, how real, like how serious it is. And it's like... But like, I mean, even just, even just that, even Hulu, ESPN and those news stations, I mean, that is a large portion of the media that you see that is being controlled by one person entity yeah most most things that you're gonna see on tv and like streaming sites like that's disney yeah like so it's just crazy because people will say that it's a conspiracy theory that like oh there's just like a small group of people and it's like i don't know if it's like 10 people but it's like man Mm. if you're disney and you own all this stuff it doesn't take a whole lot to control a narrative on it like it's like everyone answers to to you and then you just have to set up a few guys 10 executives in mm -hmm. each one of these big companies and be like this is the initiative because this is what we're going for because you have so much money that okay we don't need you we, we, we'll, we'll kick you out and we'll yeah like you we'll, don't want to play ball you, we got we, this other guy we, we got another guy who, he, he's he'll work 20 hour days he's, he's Steph Curry out there he, he, yeah he'll, 360 with the wrist <laughs> he, he'll, he'll, <laughs> do whatever, he'll do whatever we say cause, yeah. and then and then that's a that's another that's another fall from grace that I've been seeing a lot is people have been selling their morals for dollars a lot yeah people I, I mean it just, like let's let's really just look at the rise of only fans like we went from a nation of uh, i mean let, let's not even call it a we went from a society i'm not even talking about like the united states i'm talking about just like worldwide where it was like it was like oh yeah like let's, let's keep women pure let's let's keep like it, it from the man and woman standpoint yes was it was it a lot harsher for females can't deny that but yeah things were sh- but things it, can be hard it, for guys it, too. It, it was it was this narrative of like hey to having sex all over the place isn't healthy to, yeah exactly to, to yeah. now where it's just like you can sell your morals like when people say you're selling your soul like we're 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 a three part being. We're the, we're our flesh, which is the physical. We're our spirit, which is like who we actually are, and then we're our soul, which your soul is your mind, will, and emotions. And so when you sell your soul, you're selling. You're doing whatever somebody else is wanting you to do. You're right. you're giving up your control of you. What right? And and so that's why when you see people selling their soul, or when they say they sold their soul, what the, what's really happening is that they're giving over their mind, will, and emotions. To to other people, not even to other people. To this narrative, to these pr- like when when we all say like oh like why does it seem like there's like a, a a mission or a force to like push things this way? Well, that that's what it is. It's it's well, sell your sell your soul. We'll give you some money. We'll, we'll give you some fame. We'll give you some power. We'll, and then we'll tell you we'll, what we'll give you. We'll give you influence what for what we want you to say. You're not going to have real influence. You, I, I it's mean, not influence coming from your soul yeah. and your like will and your mind. It's the influence from us going through you. Exactly. And you see that everywhere, man. Honestly. You see, you're seeing that everywhere now. I mean, it's like fall in line with this one narrative or else. You oh, know? And it is... Like you said earlier, like anywhere you come up against that, where it's like, we can't have a, an, an intelligent discussion to the point where like the name calling starts to happen. That's always, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's why, just like, why, 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 are, why can we, why are we in that territory? Like, why is it so dangerous for me to think what you don't want me to think, you know? 
not even that. Give me advice for the contrary. If it, if you're going to force me, or if, if you're if you're going to try and push this narrative, just have some evidence. Just have some research. Just get, well, that's that's where the narrative starts make to a, get sketch. Is like, and that's where there's other things that people are like legitimate about. Like we need to drink water. Yup. Yeah. Everyone agrees. You know why? Because it's true. Yeah. And like, <laughs> it's like it's Dude. obviously true. Like, there's you don't drink water, you're gonna have now. Major if problems. somebody if somebody came with some evidence saying otherwise, with years of research, it doesn't have to be years of research. Like, if you just had research and it, and it just showed something, you get a certain group of people to be like. Let me test it out. And then those people would test it out. Yeah, and then you find out that after four days, you feel super shitty. (laughs) But it's like, now... But what if you weren't allowed to ask people how they're doing? What if you were not allowed to ask those people, hey, so you stopped drinking water. How are you doing? You're triggering me. You're, you're, you, you, you can't, you can't ask. I'm, I'm doing great. You, you can't, you can't ask me how I'm, how, how I'm feeling. What? Yeah. It'd be like, why? Because, you know, like why, again, that's the, that's the question that I always ask myself in, in like narratives like this or like in discussions like this. It's like, why is it so important for me to think differently than you're thinking? Like what, what, what are you up to? Like, what are you up to, to where it's yeah. so dangerous for me to think differently than what you want me to think? Honestly. And it, there's always like nefarious, there's like you said, like, there's an agenda behind it. Yeah. It's like, well, it's dangerous because really we want this to happen and you're kind of in the way. Yeah. That, that, that's literally <laughs> all it is. It's just, Hey, just shut up and get out the way. Just, like you're just, in our way. We want to do this. And yeah. it's like, man, at this point I'll happily stand in the way <laughs> because, Honestly. because you know, Copyright on the time AC. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. You want to circle back around to the Travis Scott thing? Because I watched some interesting Man. videos on that. Okay, I, I want I want to hear I want to hear your your initial take on on that. So initial take before watching any videos, mm-hmm. like I heard people died and it was like, ah, like must have been mosh pits that went crazy and like yeah. like that's Pretty crazy though. It's like you know, like you don't have, hear have you ever, about that. Have you ever lot. been in a concert where like I, I've you, been to a Travis Scott concert? I'm not not even that, but like, have yeah. you ever been in a concert where like you did not have control over yourself? Meaning like th- you were the crowd, like like you moved as one with the crowd. Yeah, I, I are you are you asking in a way that's kind of like mentally or no no I, physically? I, I, I mean like we're like, like where you literally where you literally yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. cannot move like or yes. like like if yeah. if the crowd's going left yeah. you're going left yeah. if the crowd's going right you're going right yeah of course like all those years at Coachella like like I've definitely had experiences where there's just so many people it's like like you put if, your hands there's a push you from, put your hands up you're not able to get your hands back down like yeah. stuff like that yeah, yeah. Like, like if there's a push from the back like you're moving forward mm-hmm. it sucks yeah um yeah so like my first my initial thought was like damn like that sucks but then i watched some videos and uh, like how people thought about the stuff and like some of the art that was there was kind of weird and then I, I just started to i watched this one video where it showed the people walking through his mouth into the concert yeah. you know uh there's all of these there's this painting from this painter named Hieronymus Bosch who's mm-hmm. like a Christian renaissance painter okay. and he painted these like pretty intense uh scenes mm-hmm. uh you know of like the end of the world and stuff like that yeah. like super intense stuff with like demons and stuff mm-hmm. but one of them was like this creepy mouth mm-hmm. and the the little being was like opening its mouth and people were walking into it and so the video showed that up against that and I was like man that's like that makes me feel some sort of way about like just with everything else going on it's like this is strange times that we're living in and then also there's like other like cultish videos that they brought up too of like like owl gods like Moloch and stuff Mm -hmm. and they're walking through the mouth of like the the god and it's like it's like okay so that's like a cult imagery that's what it is Mm -hmm. um and then I watched a, an Instagram video of this girl. She's probably like 21 year old girl, you know, just mm-hmm. wanted to like go to a Travis Scott concert to have fun. And there was this art piece of like Travis Scott coming out of like a box or something. Cause you know how he has that like action figure aesthetic yeah. sort of thing. It was like kind of like that, but it was just a weird looking thing. I mean, even an action figure, bro. It's like, it's like a like voodoo type 
you control action figures. Yeah. And see, that's where you get into the thing where it's like, are a lot of these big time artists just kind of pawns for whoever's controlling them? And then, and then it's kind of like they give you hints. Yeah. Like the action figure I mean, thing where it's like, it's like, he's just an action figure. You know? I forget. But anyway, so the, there's yeah, the, just this, this, this thing that uh, she walked by. She, she said she remembers like, she remembered walking past it at the beginning and being like, Oh, we'll have to go get a picture with that or something. Mm -hmm. And then she remembers walking up to it to get a picture of it. And she just felt this like weird, just raw yeah. energy around it, you know? And there's a lot of people that were coming out and saying that about the festival, which I, it kind of sucks. Cause mm -hmm. like, I always liked Travis Scott. Same. You know? I've seen him live. Same. But at the same time, it's like, it's just weird stuff, weird times. And like, you can't really deny when you see, when you see and hear stuff like that, it's like, well, that sucks. But at the same time, like, I mean, like, uh, Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? Like when 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 I when I first heard about the Travis Scott thing, again, my, my first thing was like, oh man, that sucks. I'm thinking people are just like ODing on drugs. Cause I'm like, oh Travis Scott, like Coachella culture. Like it's like, bro, you go out there, you do drugs, you know, there's no water nowhere, you know. It, yeah, it's just like I, I thought I thought yeah. it was that. And then when I just saw the manner at how it went, and then I get it, you know because because a lot like the, there was that one video of the dude who was getting like crowd surfed out who was like yeah. already dead and Travis was like yeah and, and, and then there was people like oh well, like he's trying to keep the show going on and like you know like he can't really see from the stage and whatnot and then but then it's just like it's it would be one thing if it was just that but then it's all the stuff that you met, it's like all this occult stuff. Like they were, they, um, they were, they showed, um, how the stage is set up in an upside down cross. Yeah. I saw that too. And then how the, also, how the thing, how you were talking about the CERN, it was like, yes, the, exactly like that. Exactly like that. And it, and it was a portal. mountain yep. and it's a hole into the mountain, just like the, just, the, it's called the Goddard base tunnel <laughs> in Switzerland. And it's just, you start to see all these things connect. And it's, and there's like, there's like groups in Geneva praying to that circle like i don't know i don't know what they're gonna be like I've, I've heard that they're trying to come up with some type of time travel or whatever or they're trying to open up a portal to hell or something like that do you want to see the uh Dude, put me on do you want to see the cern logo put me on this makes me like Tear, tear up. This makes me like tear up a little bit, but bro, that's six 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 right there. I can see yeah. that off the rip. That, yeah, that's, that is easy. That's, easy. that's, that's plain as day. That's see. rough to rough to oh, see. Oh, but don't. It's just the uh, six protons and six neutrons and six electrons. That's that's not. That, that's that's nothing to be to be afraid yeah. about. Just everybody, just stay. And do you, do you know? Okay, so. Do you know that the World Wide Web was invented at CERN in 1989? Oh, I did not know that. I didn't know that either until uh, Hunter looked it up the other day. Um, come on, bring up the CERN website. The birth of the web. The World Wide Web was invented by British scientist Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 while working at CERN. Bruh. Yeah. Why don't we know that? Like, it's kind of like, weird. Why don't we know that? Why? <sighs> like, we use the World Wide Web every day. We don't know who made it, and we don't know that they worked at CERN. Mm -hmm. kinda, it's kind of strange. You'd think that we would have learned that sort of thing. Yeah. You know? We know who Bill Gates is, oh. and he is... a a software company. Yeah. Like, and, but we don't know the guy who, but see that, that, that's the thing. We, we know the people who we're supposed to know. Exactly. We, we know the faces exactly. that we're supposed to know. We don't know. We don't know whatever they, the you'd trickle. think that this thing would be a big deal, but it, you know, it, it is what it is. People like you are said. trying to, people are just trying to make sure that they got food on the table. People are trying to get, get by like, exactly. Like, yeah. If you can keep people in a constant state of lack and fear, you can control them very easily. Yeah. Very, very easily because, I mean, really, like, it's funny. The same, <laughs> the same groups of people, I'm not saying the same specific people, but the same groups of people who were telling, um, 
when when Obama first got elected, it's all like if you don't like it, you can you can leave the or, leave the country. Yeah, yeah. Or no, it, it was the it was the people. It was the first time when Trump got elected, and people were like, if you don't like it, you can leave the country. When the when the vice versa happened, and they were like, y'all can just leave the country if y'all want if you don't if you don't like it. Yeah. But the reason why we don't leave is not because America is great and not because of, I mean, yeah. I mean, it is. It, it is. It's better than a lot of other places. But yeah. also, I, I wouldn't want to go somewhere where the United States is a rival. Uh, oh, but we have treaties with all these countries. Until we don't. Yeah. That like, for example, when Trump was talking about building a wall, I didn't hear anybody talking about we, we cut off an exit for us to leave. Yeah. Everybody was looking at it as keep them out, but we're not looking at it as we can't get out. Yeah. Yeah, nobody that's very true. Nobody wants to nobody wants to think about things like that. Like and at the end of the day, it's just a freedom thing. It's like a true freedom thing. You know what I mean? Like we say that we love freedom and like that's what humans, we do love freedom. Like we need freedom, but it's like true freedom. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like freedom. It's not just like the word, just using the word as exactly. like, oh yeah, freedom. It's like, it's like freedom is the ability to do what we're going to do without other people like having a grip on us. You know? I mean, I even think freedom in like the truest sense is not, is not even good for us. Like, we, it's we, it's we, not, but like it's better than it's better than being controlled by other humans. Facts, you know. That's that's yeah. definitely true. That is that is very very true because it's dangerous. Freedom's it, dangerous. It is like so, you know, dangerous. Like, and it's not necessarily good for us because like with freedom comes the freedom to make mistakes, and it comes with the responsibility to not make those mistakes. Yeah, and like you're gonna make mistakes, but man, I would take it over over people telling you, making you do things, mm -hmm. you know, building a wall to keep you in, building a wall to keep people out. It's like, it, I mean, it, it really is just dependent on, on, on the way that you're looking at it. But that, but again, cause that's, that's the thing. Cause both are true. That's the truth. It's like, you are keeping people out, but you're also keeping yourself in. They're both the truth. Yeah. You can't take half of truth and what no yeah, that's, if, that's if i want to leave true. then i could leave look well what, what's preventing like what, what makes you think that you're not going to be that group like like yeah. to me and anybody who's a part of like a group where they're doing the persecuting it's like just wait you will be on the other side yeah. like if, if you everybody will be persecuted and everybody will be a persecutor it's like just just give it some time they'll they'll yeah. find like that's Wait, history. You drink cow's milk? Nope. Nope. Okay, send, send them away. Oh, you, you don't you don't drive an electric vehicle? He he he's making crimes against against the environment. Throw him in jail. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're a, like you can you can call it the slippery slope fallacy or whatever, but then you can also just look at what's really been going on i mean see yeah i don't like maybe that is a fallacy but at the same time like to to stay safe like to keep yourself and your family safe and your friends safe you have to think like that for, like, <laughs> you have for to real, think like honestly. you have to think like well things are taking a march in this direction yeah <laughs> If we take a few more steps, it'll be like this. And it's like, well, there's no reason that we wouldn't take a few more steps because people want to take a few more we, steps. We haven't stopped taking steps. So what What would, <laughs> if we've been taking steps for, if, if you've been walking every single day for a thousand years, what makes you think that tomorrow you're just going to automatically stop? Yeah. I think, this is what I think is the, the big picture of what's going on. I think that there's a lot of, I think that we're taking a turn towards towards globalism and like glo global authoritarianism mm -hmm. and globalism has been sold to us as this like great like thing where we're all just going to like get oh, around a campfire yeah. and sing like Kumbaya and it's like yeah that would be really nice but at the same time it's like it's so dangerous because if you just have the global authorities you have global authorities you can, you don't have like this 
national sovereignty of like getting out of it, you know? Mm -hmm. And we've seen, like we saw under COVID, like, dude, if the WHO said jump, we were like, how high? And it's like, wait, we didn't elect these people. Like we didn't elect these people. And so I think what's, but I think this has been going on. And I think that, I think that it's like a turn towards like this global, like communist authoritarian thing. That's, that's about to start happening, like in full force. And it already is. But like, I think the reason, cause you know how we grew up, especially in Southern California, like all the, lots of like bad mouthing America and like, especially after like our peer group went to college. Like I know that you saw it too, like so much of that, but it's like, why, you why know? in America? And I get like in every country, you're going to learn about like the things that your country's done bad. Sure. But such a bias an yeah. anti-American bias. And that's so weird. And, and you just honestly, like, 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 yeah, it, it really it's is weird. Like, it's, it's like, I mean, to me, it's, to me, it's just another group. People are just looking for things to be upset about so that they could be a victim by it. Yeah. America is so corrupt. I mean, look at what they do with X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're reaping all of the benefits from this country and you're, and you're not addressing any of that. Exactly. And it's like, it's like, yes, there's corruption everywhere, everywhere for sure. And like, we have to learn about that and try and fix it. But at the same time, it's like, why is there or like you know how there's this kind of trope where like if we travel somewhere outside of the u.s like we're kind of like the idiot americans yeah it's like why and i think i know why or maybe just a piece of the puzzle i don't know if it's like 100 percent true but i i i think this is what's going on is that there's this global movement and america's kind of like the last country that is in the way yeah because if you think about, have you seen what's going on in Australia? With like, they have. Like, I just know they're like hella locked down. Yeah, like, like they, they basically live in a police state right now. Like mm-hmm. they have quarantine camps. If you go outside without a mask, like you'll have police on you. Like, like that is wild. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But the thing is, like Australian, uh, like the people there, like they don't, they're not armed like Americans are. But, that, and then there's the thing. It's like why, why does one party want to get rid of why do they want to get rid of guns so hard and it's like is it that there's globalists in their pocket that are like look we need you guys out of the we want to bring shooters and there's and there's this this one person they they went and shot up a movie theater and they and yeah they come up with all of these things to like we need to get the guns out of Mm -hmm. their hands because you guys are in the way yeah and we want to usher in this great new world honestly you know it is wild i think that's what's going on like everything that i've kind of like been researching lately and then coupling it with like experiences it's like you know that's i think that's that's it it's like they want us out of the way so that they can usher in this great new global world where like everyone's going to be equal and it'll be great and it's like yeah that would be great (laughs) i mean have you seen have you seen (laughs) snowpiercer snow yeah um i haven't seen it but I, or, or how, like, I kind of know the dynamic. It's like they're on a train and like the one train car has like, like rich people in it. And then like yeah. all of the other ones, it's like, it, it, ridiculously it's a, people. it's like a microcosm of a, of a population. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like if you took all the Americans, okay. If, if you took the percentage of the wealth of these people. So like, okay, 50% of the people make average to below average income. So if out of a thousand, that's 500 people. Okay. And if the 1% is one person and it, or it would be 10 people on, on the train, that would be the 1%. Mm-hmm. And so it, it's, it's the, it's that, but it really does show because the whole, the whole time, the reason why the train is kind of failing is because like they're called the tailies. There was like 300 people that like jumped on the train that weren't supposed to be on the train. And they like now have to kind of like take care of them, but they're like, they're trying to get them. They're trying to get rid of them. Like they, they treat them like terribly. Like they, they, 
the only the only reason why they were alive is because they fought to stay alive. Mm-hmm. It wasn't because they it, oh the the gracious people in the it was no like they, yeah like yeah and that's that's such a weird thing because the same it's so weird dude this, those same people that went to these universities and kind of got indoctrinated into this like globalist like anti American communist like yeah. that's what it is it like, really, really is like they 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 railed against the one percent for years and now all of a sudden whatever the one percent says yep. whatever the one percent says we'll do it mask sure mm-hmm. it's like what I, I, how did that happen i mean you you put people's feet to the fire and i mean we i i, I will never forget this i remember the 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 day that um the first the first two week quarantine was implemented and i was driving uh back to la from the desert and we were on the phone yeah and we were just talking about the 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 freedoms that you give up in fear you will never get back like 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 be weary of what you give up in fear because you might not ever get it back i mean you're gonna have to fight for it back we, we look at the world and it's like the new norm is masks like that is the new norm maybe i mean in texas not so much but like in a, if in you a, look at the big picture, it's like overall and they want you, they want that to be the new norm. Exactly. Like, and they've been tricking us and like giving us like a bait and switch thing. Oh, if you get the, the population's policing itself. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. You have the, the whole population. Like I'm, I remember I walked into, um, home goods. It's like, just like a random, like a random store. And like, I, like, I wasn't really thinking much of it. And then the lady at the phone was like, uh, masks, uh, what are, are you, are you kidding? Like, uh, like it, it wasn't, it wasn't just like a, Hey, you forgot your mask. Like, yeah. Uh, like my boss is telling me it, it was like a, it was like, a, I'm in charge and you're wrong. You're exactly. wrong. And you're like, you're exactly. endangering people. And it's, and it's just like, it's like, is that the reality of the situation right now? And, and then, and then it's, and then when you really start breaking, like peeling back the layers of it, and it's just like, I think uh, people feel a certain way about COVID for a couple of reasons. First off, COVID gives people a lot of outs for their mm. shitty health decisions in the past. That's so true, dude. I, I, Have you noticed that all of a sudden everyone has like an autoimmune disorder or something? <laughs> it's so weird, dude. It's like, you know, why are you wearing a mask? Well, it's like, oh, well, I have this thing. It's like, it's like hmm? all of a sudden, like all, all of a sudden you have you're this. Just, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that like, obviously people have health problems, but man, all of a sudden out of nowhere, a lot of people, people have health problems that they should have been eating well and exercising for five years I ago. Mean, a lot of people are web M, web M doctors their, their way where yeah. they're just like, I, I have a, a 98.5 <laughs> fever and I sneezed three times in a row. So that must be, that must be something. Yeah. And, and it's just like, what are we talking about here? Yeah. I mean, just the fact that we're seeing how COVID affected businesses and now that the World Health Organization and these the, the CDC and all these places are now conforming these rules to businesses rather than if if there is a surge in COVID in, in COVID uh, cases, things need to move accordingly as far as shutting them down. But when you have from the beginning, people saying, don't worry about COVID, then worry about COVID, then don't worry, it'll just be two weeks. And then 12, 14 months later, we're still in the, in the same, in the same boat. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, Hey, you know what? We're, we're going to zoom is going to, we're going to have zoom take off and we're going to do zoom meetings and we're going to be cool here. And then we're going to, Oh, okay. Wait, uh, you, you can start coming back to work now, but only if you want to. And then, Oh, but if you come back to work now, you have to be vaccinated and it, it's a whole, yeah, it is a whole thing. Okay. So the world economic forum has this initiative called the great reset. And basically their idea is like COVID is this once in a lifetime opportunity to change how we do things in the world. You know what I mean? And what they stress is public and private sector cooperation, mm. which 
I think is just uh, like a stalking horse for communism. Because if you just have the government stepping in on businesses, like yeah. that is communism. And that's yeah. also what we've seen happen with COVID on mm-hmm. like a small ish scale. It's not like they were like, hey, we're taking over the means of production, but they were. They kept, like, bus- they kept certain businesses afloat. Yeah, they, and they shut down the essential, non-essential businesses. The fact that the mom and pa shop closed down, yeah. but the big time retail equivalent didn't, said something. Yeah, like oh, what's going on there? Joe's Pizza is closed, but Papa John's is open. Yeah, uh, Bob's Burgers is closed, but McDonald's is open. Yeah, the, the government stepped in and said, "We're kind of in charge of the economy now," which is. Yeah, I mean, COVID had COVID has made people dependent on the government for their income now. Because yeah. I, I mean, people still haven't recovered from from the economic hit on COVID, and it's made them dependent on the government for their for their not only their health as far as like actually staying safe, but also their health news because whatever. We're, this is a bunch of lab coats. I don't know who you are. I, I don't. Yeah. I, you could be just over there, just twiddling some beakers around, and I, I wouldn't know the or difference. You could, you could be a paid politician. <laughs> <laughs> like, like honestly, you like, could be a paid politician, and you just and then, and then it's, it's wild because like the like this information is so it's readily available if you're just willing to look just a little bit. You don't even yeah. have to do nothing crazy. It's just literally yeah. just looking a little bit. Yeah. And so, I mean, even what, besides the new Spider-Man movies, what, what were the two biggest movies over the past like decade? The Avengers movies, yeah. the, the end game. Yeah. What, what was the whole point of that? Thanos is going to wipe out half the population. And someone who's, who has said, I'm, I'm going to wipe out the population, had a lot of supporters. He was like the, the anti-hero or whatever. Yeah. It's just a preconditioning to getting people used to mass death. Hey, yeah. Some of the people that shoot, shoot, they, they killed off uh, Spider-Man. So they, they killed off a lot of people that you thought they were not going to kill off. There's a lot of people that, oh, man, I thought they, I didn't think they were going to die. What? Yeah. And it, it's just That's getting so you true. ready like, for it. Why? It's a comic book. It could be about anything. They could take it and make it about anything. And they chose that the end game is population mm-hmm. control. Half. And we do, I mean, do, do you think that they, they give out, Oh, yeah, pre- small truths, preconditioning. 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 Do you think that they do that? I was talking with my dad and my brother about this. Do you think that they do that for people? Because you know how they'll, they'll label people conspiracy theorists, which at this point we've seen that like a lot of people just were paying attention. Yeah. That's all that was. So do you think that they give out small pieces of information to people who are paying attention? And then as soon as they pay attention and go, hey, look, like this is happening, then they just kind of shift them and go, oh, those people are conspiracy theorists. And that way it's like, you maintain a division between people and then you have a group of people who know what's going on and they know that they know what's going on because they've been putting out the preconditioning. But then you build a wall between the conspiracy theorists and just like the normal people yeah. and they can't communicate anymore. I it's mean, like you, you just, let, let's, let's even, let's even just talk about the most, the most recent thing. Anti-vaxxers before COVID who, who were anti-vaxxers associated with? Parents not wanting to vaccinate their kids with like, even, even I am, cause even I'm like, cause whatever that might be. But like, for example, I, I'm fully, I was fully vaccinated for all like the measles, pop, whatever. Yeah, yeah all, we all are. We all, all, we had to go to school. So yeah. All, all that, all that stuff. Yeah. But then it was just like, oh, if you're an anti-vaxxer, you're an idiot. You're, you're this, you're that, you're, you're this, you're that. Which basically just means don't socialize with them. Which, which e- even, cause even in that, cause I haven't, I haven't done the research for that. However, okay. the, 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 that's not the point I'm trying to get to. Okay. The, the term anti-vaxxer has a connotation of being stupid. You're, you're, you're dumb. This is a whole different vaccine. This, this is a whole different thing. Like it's not even a vaccine, really. Uh, like vaccines are developed over the course of many, years. many years. This was developed in a year. And I don't know the science of it, like 
nearly as much as other people do. But people Nobody talk about does. people. Yeah, and, and, and people so talk about how it's how it's mRNA mm -hmm. instead of I don't know how other. Well, you know, other vaccines work. They introduce the virus to you. Yeah. Your immune system gets used to it so that you can fight it off. Yeah. This this uses messenger RNA, which I'm not sure you know how that differs mm -hmm. but it, it differs it's yeah. a different thing and, and and so but but even even you having because the same way of because it, it it's it, it, it's in the back of people's minds because oh you're an anti-vaxxer you're killing kids you're, you're this you're that and so when you when you think of an anti-vaxxer it's like oh you're killing people you're you're the problem you're 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 the reason why it's spreading mm -hmm. and and so it it's it complicates the people like if we do think that this was manufactured and released as like an initiative, it abdicates those people of responsibility and puts it on the people who don't want to take the solution to the problem that they created. Well, see, cause see it, it again, the devil's great at what he does. It's, yeah. it's he's, hey, I, I give him credit. He's, he's good at that. Yeah. Cause see it, it's, it's on both sides because whether you comply or you don't comply, you're screwed either way. Okay. You don't comply. You don't comply for the COVID vaccine. Cool. What happens when they, they've are, they've already said it? They're they're trying to make chips that they put in you so that all your medical data is going to be in yeah. there. It's going to be it's going to be bio, uh, however, to your to your system to where you can you can scan this chip that's inside of you, and now we we will know within seconds whether or not you have COVID. Yeah, that's legit too. Company in Sweden yeah. producing yeah. it. South China Morning Post okay. came out with a story two weeks ago. What if what if you don't want to do that? Oh, you're the you're the reason why we're not healthy from COVID because you're not you're not the one trying to trying to do this oh hey we have we have this new um we have this new chip to where you, you put you put it in you and all not only all of your medical data but now all your banking information so you never have to work this is the most safe thing ever oh yeah. well you're the reason why we have to keep on touching dirty money and you're the it you're if you don't comply it, the the more and more extreme you, that you Basically, if, if you don't put a cap on it, you're just going to let the extremists keep on running the top off of it. It's if, if nobody ever sits down and just says, hey, can we just take a second to really assess where we're at? And if it's just no, go, 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 yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. go. There's go. no that's the thing. There's no taking a breather. There's no taking a breather. And hey, let's just talk about this. You're the problem. Mm -hmm. just, Immediately. Just, uh, um, um, like, for, for example, Aaron Rodgers, he, he was he's actually allergic to some of the some of the things that are that are in the the normal the the vaccine the, the top three vaccine options mm -hmm. and that's what he was trying to say but i, I didn't think too, i didn't even know that i didn't yeah. even know that until like two three weeks after after they smeared him after they smeared him yeah but your biggest point why is it just three like first off if y'all if y'all got it right if if, if y'all got the the little formula right why not just Give the formula to they, everybody, and so that they. It's because they didn't get the formula right. No. It's like, it's like this is. It, it, they say that it just reduces your chances, but that's the thing. That's where the gaslighting comes in. Is that's not what they said? No, I was, about, I was said about to bring up. All, yeah, they, at fucking all. That's not what they said. They said that we have a vaccine. It works yeah. in treating all variants of COVID, and you won't get it mm -hmm. at all at all and then and and then take off your mask mm -hmm. once you get it once oh, you, you get it you can take off your mask good. we're good you're we're good. at the end of the line and then it turned into well it, it helps helps. Prevent it. it helps prevent it and you probably won't die you, you 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 probably won't be hospitalized yeah you probably won't be hospitalized and then it turned into you well, need a booster yeah yeah it turned into <laughs> well the vaccines wear off completely over time, so you need a booster. I heard, I heard some. There's, there's one comedian. And we haven't discussed that. They don't discuss. I mean, we discuss that. Yeah. But the people who should be fucking discussing it are not discussing that. There was, this and like to be honest, yeah. as young men in the society, I'm fucking. It's like, but, what but, are you guys doing? But see, that that's the thing. Men are being stripped of their power. Yeah. Like, like. But that's what I mean. Like right now, us, it's like. I'm skeptical, man. Do you know 
know how many groups we've offended? It just, <laughs> just like, just like, literally, we've offended so many groups if, yeah. if they're choosing to be offended. Yeah. That's with, what I mean. That's why and, we're just and we have freely thinking. Freely. No malice towards any of them. No, we're, yeah. we're just I, like, <laughs> I would love, I would love to sit down with anyone mm -hmm. for. I will make. I will personally cook and make and serve anyone dinner. Facts. Anyone. Anyone Break in the world. Them. Anyone in the world. But it's like, well, this is what I think about things though. You know what I mean? It's like, if you guys are going to lie to us and then not have accountability for the lies, it's like, exactly. no, no. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're like, we, we cannot, we, we, we just, we cannot do this. We cannot keep on just letting the world just keep on going down. Yeah. We're just going to push and push and push. It's like enough. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, let's talk about this. We need to talk about where we're going. Yeah. You know, it is, it is a, it is a wild thing. Yeah. If obviously we've talked about a lot, but if, if there was one, what's one step that in, in your life you have either taken or are planning to take or something that you think would help us turn around and start walking in the right direction. Like what's, what's one, we have to be able to talk to each other. We have to be able to talk to strangers in person. Definitely. Because the mask thing, uh, I think I've just noticed the social, like like the psychological social effects it has on me. And like, I can take responsibility for it, but at the same time, I can notice that it's having this effect on me, mm -hmm. which is that I don't feel like I can go up to somebody and strike up a conversation. They yeah. literally say, put on a mask and stay away from Social people. Social distance. Put on a mask and stay away from people. It's mm -hmm. like, how are we going to talk about any of this? How they, are we going to slow they down? Want, they, they don't want that. And that's, that's what it is. It's like, you know, we've forgotten that we have immune systems. We've forgotten that we've taken vaccines for this. We've forgotten that there's even treatments other than the vaccines for this. Um, we've forgotten herd immunity. We forgot and, and that we, people just die. Yeah. Like, like, like everyone is going to die. Like we have to have an acceptance of that. But I think, yeah, that's a good question. The number one thing is we have to be able to talk to strangers in person again, man, or else like we're just going to, we're just going to have these discussions, which are great, but like, we have to be able to converse with each other and with people that we don't know about. Like I have to be able to go up to somebody at the airport and be like, what the fuck? What is this about? And just see, and they might be like, Oh, you're crazy anti-vaxxer. Okay. Mm -hmm. But still I have to be able to have that ability to do that. You know, because what, what about you? What do you think? I, I, I was going to say it, it is, it is, getting back to the individual of being able to talk with um, amongst one another. Cause I mean, like, like you were saying, like it, we, uh, we're social creatures, whether you, whether you believe in spiritual or scientific, both say we are spiritual, we are where we need to be in communion with one another. We, we need to be able to come together and talk about things. And when you're either not allowed to talk about things because you need a social distance or whatever, or you're not allowed to talk about things because these topics are taboo, or you're not allowed to talk about these things because the government said that you can't talk about these things or whatever. It, yeah, you do have a lot of people walking around in their truths because they don't, they've never even talked to anybody else. They don't, they don't have anything to, to back. Like, there's there's been plenty of conversation. Like I remember, I remember one conversation I had with a female a long time ago, and she like really explained how like big, like how like guys like make like it's like like y'all are intimidating. And I, it was like the first time I was like, I would have never thought that. I, I just always thought that girls were just like tripping because I was like, but it's like no, like and and when you, but if she would have just been like, oh, you're not a girl, you wouldn't understand. I'm like. Well, then, yeah, I can, I can never, I, can, I can't I can never understand because, because for, for example, the whole, the, the BLM movement, it's white people don't take the time to learn about our culture and, and they don't, they don't take the time to hear out black people. And then you had a bunch of uh, white people coming out and be like, okay, well educate us. It's not our job to educate you. Yeah. That's one of the lines Whoa, that's, that's hard wait, to deal with. Wait, huh? Wait, wait, you, you Huh? We, ha we have to be able to educate each other on, on like the world. Like that's how we learn things is communicating. And like, you're going to tell me Jordan Peterson has a great 
like That's quote cool. on this. Yeah. He, he's always like, listen to other people, talk and listen to other people. Like they are going to tell you something that you don't know. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that is 100% true. And we have to, we have to be able to do that. Honestly. Man. I stop being so soft. <laughs> don't be soft. <laughs> Fucking, no. In the words of David Goggins, stay hard. But, Talk but, to other people, show them love, and stay hard. Stay hard. <laughs> but but even even in that, um, have conversations out of love. Don't don't assume that people are are, are coming from a, a, a negative space. Uh, like the innocent until proven guilty. Let people prove that they're that they're a, an evil person or, or whatever before just naturally assuming that, so that we can. Yeah, we have to assume that we're all in this, in this together. Honestly, like we are. And we got to start acting that way. Like we're not, we can't keep walking around assuming that we're all just like at each other's throats. Cause like we're all in this together one way or another, honestly, in a quarantine camp or, <laughs> or just in our separate homes hey. and apartments. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we all like, we all live in the U S we all see what's going on around us. Like, yeah, it, we, we all see our version of it. Like some people, yeah. some people see COVID as a real pandemic because of the things that they've seen. Some people, they're like, I, but everybody around me got it and was asymptomatic or nobody got it around me. Like, yeah. the, the, but those are just the different viewpoints. I mean, people in New York probably look at COVID way different than people in Texas, than people in California. When it, when it first hit Italy, probably people looked at it different. Like it, it just depends on, on what your surroundings are. Yeah. And so it, it, it's talking about it in love, but then also, having that ear to listen because mm. just like a hey, in in convert like the the whole point of conversation is not to convert people's ideologies right there on the spot it's just to plant seeds mm. hey i don't need you to agree with me right now i mean would i like to of course everybody likes to be everybody yeah we all want to like we all want to, like, a- we all want to agree everybody yeah. wants to have the answer to everything in life yeah. but you know what we've agreed on a lot of stuff. We, we probably think that every, everything that we're saying is right. And somebody could be like, what? No, we all guaranteed. Need, we all guaranteed. need to say, we all need to stay away from each other and just do what's best for us. And it's yeah. like, and, and you have your, the reasons why you feel like that. And I have the reasons why I feel like this, but if we can't come together and have, and have that talk, <sighs> we have to respect each other in disagreement too. Cause like, I think we're at a point in current events right now where like, it's not like people are just going to start agreeing or seeing each other's side like tomorrow. You know what I mean? Exactly. But we, but like, f- like f- uh, first we have to stop like with the name calling and, and labeling. Yeah. Like, like if you believe, if you want to go around telling everyone to wear their mask and like, if you're that type of person that wants to like enforce the rules of the, p- of the pandemic, it's like, we have to understand that that person doesn't want people to die. It, you know what I mean? Like that person is, is really trying to like look out for people. Do I like that they're going about it in like yeah. this, this way? No. And do I think that they should like, no, but like at the heart of what they're doing is like, they just don't want people to die. Yeah. But then at the same time for people that like think that we shouldn't be wearing masks and that we should like just kind of get back to a normal way of life and like be in community with each other and spend time with each other and like kind of get back to what we were doing before the pandemic, which Mm -hmm. had its problems, but like, you know, we can't just march into like that, that person who wants that doesn't want to kill people. Like there was like, there was a lot of good that came out of the pandemic. I mean, yeah. People washing their hands more. I mean, Hey, if (laughs) if there's the number one thing in the gym, wet wipes are being used more than ever. I thank you that your sweaty bench that you just got off of. Thank you for wiping it down with the, with the Kleenex. 100%. Like, Hey, wash your hands. Hey, you know what? We have people who are now more health conscious than ever. Yeah. Uh, but, but see, instead of it being, in, in, instead of it saying, instead of these powers that be coming out and saying, hey, we have a vaccine, it's going to help drastically um, reduce uh, your chances of getting COVID. It's not going to make it, it's not 100%, but it's going to, you're going to be in, in the, a 99 percentile, but also eating right, making sure that you're getting proper sleep, you know, exercising. These are things that can really help 
boost your natural immune system along with along with this vaccine to to get to a point where yeah it, it really could but when but when you're just having this it's like oh it's all this is this is a magic drug it's gonna it could do everything and also you have to take it or else you're an anti-vaxxer and stupid and dumb and like you and want people to die and we're, it's like, your, and we're gonna take your job and it's like yeah it's like and yeah like, whoa yeah it's like whoa like hold on if, like, you can't. i wouldn't be surprised if you asked I wouldn't be surprised if over 50% of the people who got vaccinated only got vaccinated because their job required them to. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, and I think forced- that's, I think that's another. I think that is one of the. I think that's the biggest reason for the shut up and just get vaccinated because people like they told me to shut up and just get vaccinated and I did and I feel terrible about it and I don't want to feel alone in this decision so you so have just to go down do it because I did it yeah I think you're right and so that's a problem too it's like people felt like they had to or else they were going to be cut off from their resource to feed themselves and their kids honestly I'm, I'm, if that's the reason that people are getting vaccinated we have a huge problem i mean you're, you're telling if you're a more a fr- mother that hey you're uh you, you, any single parent hey you're you're not going to be able to provide for your kids if you don't get vaccinated it's a free vaccine just get it come on da, da, da. and you you have your morals in the back of your head you're like i don't know what this is going to do uh, but uh, i mean they're and lord no Hey, you you got you got a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, actually millions of, of new graduates every year with hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loan debt that will take your job for less money than you're making. Yeah, they don't need you, or they'll just get a robot to do it for free. Yeah, and that and that's where it's just like, what what is what, what are happened? we doing? Like, what, what are we doing? Like, what like, just like if we have people taking the vaccine because they're afraid to work more than they're afraid of the virus then we don't have a pandemic we have like this weird control system that's creeping up and then it's like why why if that's the case you know like if people i don't know how many people are going to listen to this but if you're listening to this and like you felt like getting the vaccine because you were afraid that it was going to have repercussions on you making money we got to confront that reality. Like if, if, like, if the reason that you did, if a hundred percent through and through the reason that you got the vaccine was not because of the health side of it. If there was any, any other motivation of, I'm not going to be able to fly. I'm not going to be able to go to my favorite restaurant. I'm not going to be able to go to the gym. I'm not going to be able to work. If it was any of those things and then all the other things, we have an issue. Yeah, like that's a problem. Like we have a serious issue. Because then we have a government mandating a medical procedure for you to to do things that you should be free to do without the medical procedure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is it is big time wild out here. Yeah. You wanna wrap it up? I feel like we've covered pretty much everything. I was I was about to say, hey. You know what? Hey, everybody love one another, you know. Yeah. Don't forget that we're all flawed, so treat others like treat others with the same grace that you wish that you were treated with. Yeah. And just talk to each other. Most definitely. All right. We out. We out.